Um, are we ready? Right, have a good show, lads. <coughs> Just lower that down a little bit for us now. Yeah. Hello, welcome. Back. Common Sense Watch Along. We're back. We, it's been a few weeks with the international break and then away on Aldi, as you can see from the great tan. Campo hasn't been on Aldi. I've been on Aldi. He's just <clears> sick of the week. Nine minute, he's going to get a nine-minute one this just week. He's been on a tan wipes. <laughs> tan happens. wipes, yeah. Um, so, yeah, look, good to be back. Obviously, Chelsea, uh, Everton t tonight. Big game for Everton um, at the bottom end of the table, certainly after those points are deducted. So... I think the best we can hope for, hopefully, be a nice, nice performance. But I'd take a point now. Good. I even think the save. I think a point of Chelsea is a good result for Everton tonight. Yeah, a very just, good result. Just been going on about all, all the teams kind of um, games to play in the permutations for the bottom bottom part of the table, and and obviously Everton have got Luton to play away, but obviously Forest and Sheffield United to play on the bounce. So for me, I'm looking at it going. You know, if you if you can't take. You know, maybe another six points from from those three games, maybe seven points. Should go down. You know, <laughs> they're the type of teams you've got to beat. Certainly, uh, Sheffield United that good. The if you know, it might might be a harder game than um, people imagine that because usually once teams are relegated, the pressure kind of comes off them. It sounds bizarre. Yeah, it the, does. The, the pressure kind of comes off them, and um, obviously, the longer Sheffield you go without winning the game, obviously, the, the closer they get towards that trap door, which I think them and Burnley. Pretty much going to fall. Is, Lu is Luton home or away? Everton. Everton play Luton away. No, away. That's Don't forget, Luton that's... beats Everton at Goodison Park. Yeah, it's a tough one. That's what I'm saying that's the tough one out there. I think in the cup as well, was it? Yeah, that's yeah. that's the tough one. I think. Um, so so that's the challenge in terms of you know every point is is tough to get in the Premier League, um, especially when you're down the bottom end like that. Obviously, Everton were gifted uh, three points in the last last time out against Good uh, at Goodison against Burnley by. Um, Burnley kind of overplaying in the wrong area and, and then a really poor clearance from the, from the goalkeeper, Merchich, which give, obviously, Everton what they've been crying out for, which yeah. was um, a goal, <laughs> obviously, a clean sheet, more importantly, and, and the three points. Then, obviously, that bombshell comes that they get a, a further point deduction. Um, and I can't imagine what the noises would have been like had Everton not won <coughs> that game. Because, don't forget, Burnley went down to 10 men for a, for a, for a period of that, yeah. with O'Day getting sent off. But also, if, if, you know, luckily Everton have got the result, but obviously I think they were on a terrible run of no winning 12 before that. Yeah, 16th of December was the last win before that, and it was yeah. Burnley. Yeah. So it was like, it, it, it was gone from people doing the Christmas shopping, it was the last time Everton won a game against Burnley, to Easter when Everton won a game against Burnley. So that's, and, and that, that's the mad thing is, that's like half a season, and... They were in the bottom three or even close to going down. That's how that's how poor the league is, in my opinion, this season. Yeah, that, I mean, that Everton team would have had an extra, obviously, eight points now at this point. So, you know, that puts you, that puts you on 35. You're only five with, what, well, five, six games to go. But saying that's when they got... They didn't win a game since the 16th of December to the... the what, was it, what, 12, 12 of April, was it? No, it was week of all last. So they didn't so they, they, they did win a game for that long. 4th of April or something like that, was it? In the game. So he didn't win a game for that long, and they had eight points deducted, and they were still not in the bottom three or even close to, in my opinion, getting relegated. That's how poor the league has been this season. Yeah, and there's been some know, shocking teams. That's the thing as well. Forest and Everton have had points deductions, and they're not in the bottom three. So I'll just say, you know, there has been whipping boys, obviously Burnley and um, Chef, you. Chef, you've kind of been there, mm. albeit, um, you know, the 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 Lutons kind of were thought to be, but have ended up being you know, away punching yeah. above the weight. I, I I've got a funny feeling. Um, you know, Forest or Everton could get dragged into it. Certainly, you look at Everton's last game of the season, Arsenal away, it's not easy. Obviously, still got Liverpool to play at Anfield. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's obviously games six pointers in and around. Yeah, looping away is going to be tricky. I kind of yeah. wear I, th I think Forest had the touch getting the four points, not the six, because they were sort of brown nose in the Premier League. Mm -hmm. So when they got them two points extra knocked off, because they'd be helpful. I had a little touch there. I thought if I got the sixth, he would have been in, in, in trouble for us. But this is the thing, it makes a mockery because the side we play tonight, Chelsea, have just published their accounts. And, and obviously, in the midst of that, you know, how, how did they comply with this FFP? And how, you know, they spent over a billion quid and how are they going to fit in with the regulations? And, you, you know, firstly, they had the eight, nine year contracts to kind of um, obviously, um, you know, kind of creatively get round some of the um, 
you know, FFP restrictions, and and then, and then they've just not not only sold one hotel but sold two hotels. Yeah, for like ninety odd million. I don't, it's just it's it's just it has made a mockery of it, and they've got to put a stop to that loophole because technically now, what you can do because the costing of a hotel or a training ground or a stadium doesn't come into doesn't come into play, but so now when you sell it, it did. So you can spend a hundred million of your own money, not, and not come into play for FFP. But then when you sell that asset, it comes into play. It's, I mean, it doesn't make sense at all. But the Premier League have, have okayed it and they've, and they've cleared it. So now Man City are going to sell their training ground for three hundred million or something like that. That's what I can see coming up happening soon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. To um, themselves. Yeah, they, they obviously have picked through the loopholes and yeah. picked through the, the grey area and, and decided, um, yeah. you know, they can they can challenge and obviously you know manipulate some of the figures to to obviously work work themselves into a financial advantage. You know, the, the big the big case they've got coming is City, who look like now they're going to win the sixth title in seven years. And yet every single one of them could be struck from the record books at a point in time if the 115, 116 charges are mm. um, stuck to them. Yeah, there's a lot of... There's di but the thing is, with the City's charges and, and Everton's charges, they're both completely different charges. City are not breaching... The, the actual the 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 limits they they just they're doing a workaround on the actual limits so it's like uh, you're paying x paying him there and paying him through with x that's a separate company and doing this there and paying them through next so they've got a lot that's why it's got a lot uh, been a lot longer case for city because these hundred i think evans first charge had i think eighty thousand documents so the city got 115 charges you, you put the manpower but to get through all that. It looks like they're going to try and change the legislation or bring in a regulator. That was what I heard last week. A kind of government. I mean, obviously, you've seen Richard Masters need oppose it. it. We need yeah, the regulator. You, but, but then, when you think about poorly, government runs every other thing. Why would we let it near something that, no matter what you say about Premier League football, it's successful? <laughs> yeah, it's successful. But I mean, this, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of not to our hearts on and off the pitch now. So I think there's a lot of stuff going on, like you see with Everton 777. <laughs> there's so yeah, many but, red but flags. But, but, but don't forget the Saudis own Newcastle. So that's, you know. that's, that's my whole point. There's so yeah. many like, hang on, how is this and that and this being allowed to happen? Well, Abramovich has owned Chelsea for years. Obviously, the fact that they sanctioned them and took Chelsea off them that's because it, it was mm. linked to kind of Putin and the oligarch kind of, um, you know, regimes mm. out, out, out in, the, um, in Russia. Um the fact that it looks like Everton have struggled because of Usmanov's um, sanctioning. Um, they have fact, they've struggled because of that. Which put them in a financial yeah. uh, predicament. So, you know, the, 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 they aren't the first, you know, the people moan constantly about the Glazer situation and then obviously you'd have Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Brailsford come into Man United in Eos. Well, what about the cycling, the blood doping and all that, that Brailsford and all that were, yeah. were involved in with UK cycling? So, again, w w you know, I've seen Maximo Chile, you know, own Leeds United. We've seen... Ball through on the pitch at um, Redden for, num for a number of years because they're now saying, well, this fellow's a bad, bad owner, mm -hmm. but he, 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 at least he's paying the bills. So, again, it, like they're very hypocritical, the, these organisations, in terms of who is the proper person to own a football club, um, where is the money coming from? And, you know, obviously Everton owners, or previous regime, Usman of Mashiri or whatever, bad, bad, bad. Chelsea's Abramovich, bad, bad, bad. We must seize the club. And mm -hmm. yet, let's bring the Saudi government in. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah. let's bring Bra Brailsford and that, who've, who've obviously got big question marks over them in, in terms of the efficacy in integrity, yeah, and no. integrity yeah. based on what happened with that doctor and the, and the bags of blood. Um, and I'm, 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 not one, I'm, I'm not naive enough to think everyone in football is a lovely, well-meaning person. You know, the, you know, they're not, because usually very, very wealthy people yeah. come with um, uh, demands and, and, and um, th Back. some of those demands aren't morally, maybe. maybe yeah, the, not the, like, many people in the world are multi-billionaires Ethically, if you've recited, they've all got a little bit of history somewhere, but it's just how much like history and how much baggage they, they come with. You can't, uh, you're right saying, you can't be saying bad by the Roman Aramovich than saying, okay, welcome to Saudis. It just makes no sense to, yeah. to, to, to do that. It, it's it, it, the both on their own but again, history. What we're you know talking what I mean? about there is a state regulator coming in and saying, okay, that person's all right because we do business with the Saudi in terms of Lockheed Martin or Raytheon or whatever the arms, mm. you know contacts are we have got with them but you can't do business with uh, Abramovich because he's a bad person because we're not doing the deals with Putin and the Russian regime because we are politically opposed to them so then all of a sudden you've now got a state regulator saying you can't sign a Russian player but you can't sign a Ukrainian player you can't sign an, Is you can't sign an Israeli player but you can't like, yeah, I know. 
So yeah, I mean, yeah. all of a sudden, you've got government, which is shit at running the country, as proven yeah. over the last 14 plus years, yeah. um, who get us involved in needless conflicts, need, needless wars. Why are you going to let them there? The Premier League, which is probably up there in terms of our one of our biggest propaganda, biggest global exports to the rest of the world, because they'll only fuck that up like they do with everything else. Yeah, I just think what they're doing is to try to... And the politicised sport, which which is creeping in <laughs> ridiculous amounts now. Remember, remember we used to go back to the days where it was about the sport and it wasn't politicised? I think sports always had, that, especially the Liverpool, I thought sports always had the political element to it. Liverpool, Everton and Liverpool, definitely. And Manchester, and you can go far as Newcastle. As a play, I think, but it's not as much now. I know what you're saying, there's a lot more political elements with all the take the knee and but all that stuff the fans. creeping the fans into it. obviously got, they've got passionate about certain topics. Yeah. I'm talking about the actual, you know, the organisation, you know, the, the... Like you take the New York you know, right you've now you've and do it. You've got the FA, you've got Sky, you've got TNT or whatever. The used as all different kind of political motives to yeah. say, you know, yeah, you, you know from, from the fact that the Black Lives Matter and you had every fucking player and coach and kneeling mm. before every game. <laughs> all to do with the vaccinations then, and they were trying to pump out all the vaccinations via, you know, it's good, it's healthy for us, but then behind the scenes, the Premier League actual players who were playing in the Premier League and Championship weren't taking them and they weren't yeah. it was, they, were telling, they were pumping out get your vaccines because it's the right thing to do using the young healthy athletes who were then not taking it because of the dangers mm. uh, they, they they thought it would contain for them <laughs> it's just nuts yeah they but it's become political again what's the right answer to, it's there's <laughs> is there a right answer to it? Do we have a, a, a body looking at it? Don't we? Do we stay as we are? Let it let it do what it wants. It's it, it, there's there's no right answer. I, I think you, you, like any free market capitalism, you just let let them just say, listen, sanctions are off. You can spend fourteen billion, spend it. But then, that then don't forget that's tax into the, into the coffers. It does, so but then does not dilute the product. What by getting Mbappe here and, yeah. and Neymar here? If, if you've fuck? got if you've got a lot of teams, who, if you've got the, the we're already seeing a massive gap between the top and the bottom of Premier League. But you're just saying this from your biased Liverpool no, position I'm of not, wanting to close I'm the saying, shop so that Liverpool have no more chance of being I'm, successful. I'm, no, I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying the bottom of the league now shite, and the top is like looking on eight, up eighty north of 80, 90 points. Do you want that closer? Instead of saying, okay, well, all these bot top teams now, you should spend what you want. But that's what FFP's FFP's meant to be, fixing isn't it? it for the big, big <coughs> revenue streams anyway. This is they're trying to spin it round, so they're trying to no, 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 lower. No, no. Man City are going to be able to spend three times as much as Everton for the next two or three years, based on their revenues and the way their club generates, and, and because they've worked out how to generate money into the FFP, and they can spend three hundred million on wages, and, and Everton yeah. can only spend a hundred million. Yeah. So. Let, let, let's be serious here. You can have the best fucking coach in the world. He can't coach £200 million worth of salary. Like He can't add that much value. He might make it a little bit better. He might take a £100 million group and make them worth 150 but he's not taking £100 million worth of wages and turning them into £300 million. He's not, but then you've not. also, on, on the flip side of that coin, you've got clubs like Brighton who are... He's a good analyst. Yeah, but what, what, happens, every, yeah, it, yeah, but what it, happens every time they get a decent player? They sell them for the a big, lot. No, no, Liverpool come. As Liverpool, this is what Liverpool miss, because... Your net spend, that nonsense is hard behind that net spend, right? Salah's money just got published last week. What are you paying Salah? 20 plus million a season. Plus, is, um, plus, plus image rights, it's more than that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And you just cry, oh, we would never, we don't get drawn in stuff, people pay for the bill for the no, badge and all that nonsense. No, I don't say that, that's nonsense. So, like anything, if, if somebody knows you've got a player and he's on a certain salary and Everton can only pay 100 million, no matter how good or Brighton, if they've got 300 million, they just say, what are you getting paid there? Right, we'll give you twenty percent more. Yeah, what? no, I know that. But then on the and we're a bigger club, and we've got all the better players, and we've got the best. So, so all of a sudden, it just becomes all it does is everyone just filters up into the top sides. We've got the biggest revenue. But now Brighton have got just published their accounts. They posted record profits of hundred and was it forty odd million? But that's what I'm saying. But now they've the got players. that. They've got that. Chelsea cuts down for the fucking majority. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. But, but I'm saying they've still had to sell all the best players. Like they've had to sell. But if they've got the best, if, they, if, if team, they've got the best backroom team and, and analysis, then they can now bring. I've got two or three you kids. Can't keep fucking turning fucking sow's ears into self <laughs> pieces, lad. No. Like you get away with it, you find a say say though, and like, and it, it it's hard. Because everyone there. goes, hang on a minute, they're turning up again for him. You just sold him for that. Right, we want an extra twenty five percent on it. Yeah, no, I get so, that bit. I get like, that bit. Yeah, it's just it's just market dynamic. Like but the problem that people are missing is Brighton could have broken into the top four, could have broken into the cab, the top six cabal, right? Because they had players of quality to be able to do so. You know, obviously Saicedo, obviously um, Cucurella before he went, he was a good player. Yeah, he was. Why yeah. Chelsea played for him? Keeper and obviously McAllister. And the, and the cat, you know, yeah. the, so so what's happened is 
they're better teams being broken up. And yet, in three years or two years, we can spend that money. But it actually doesn't help us in the year and now. And Liverpool then have took their best players and, and obviously got a steal, stole a march on them. So they might get ahead for a small period, but because of the three-year cycle of FFP, these just big behemoths come behind them, rob your best players, and then when you had the chance to usurp them and finish higher in the table because they're having an iffy spell, the next year they've bought your best players and just fucking see you off. The, that, so it's, that, fixing, the, it's it is, fixing it for the big six again. It is, but that, uh, again, there's still, there's still the elements of the way Brighton have run the club and, and go back. There's, anyone can do that, really. If, if you've got the, the right people behind, Everton could have done that. You anyone because could because market have... forces dictate what you've got to play, play players. I know just what I'm saying. If, if Everton or someone on the club had Brighton's so, so backroom team... as soon as we team, get a good player, they get, like John Stones, Wayne Rooney, they're yeah. robbed off you. They're gone. Brown because Bush. you can't afford to keep them. Because Man United come along and you go, right, we're going to pay 100 grand a week, Right. And they go, well, we'll give you 200. Yeah. No, well, go, I know that, but I'm just saying this. Because I've got more chance now. of winning trophies here because there's loads of better players here. And like, so all of a sudden, your best players, like you think about how hard it is to keep a good player if you're an average size club because you can't offer them Champions League, you can't offer them League Cup finals, like you can't offer them massive stadium. So unless you have a, an, a, a kind of five, six, seven year cycle where you get a chance to build your infrastructure up, you know, mm. Brighton are obviously a, a marquee kind of club for that. So with Brentford in, in a different, yeah. slightly different Paul guys. Paul Greenwood's made a good point in the chat room here. Southampton done it a couple of years ago. They did. Who broke course. it though? Le yeah. Pool. Yeah. They're yeah. all the best players. Yeah. Like that's the thing about it. Even if you're successful, they just keep. If it's not Liverpool, it's Chelsea. If it's not Chelsea, it's Man United. They just keep mm. robbing your best players, best players, best players. Like you, whichever one of them that you're usurping by mm. being in the top six, they now come along and go right. Let's buy and do, for instance, and we'll talk about buying in a second. The case of Harry Kane. Um, um, Everton team's in here. He's gone for Ashley Young again. I think uh, Be yeah. Beto... <sighs> I worry about that midfield. A big, big concern of mine is Everton's midfield. I don't think James Garner holds a position well enough. I don't, I don't think, think Young's got enough legs. But he's on the bench to do it. I don't think Gomez can play for that lot. I don't think Gomez is fit enough to play. I, I know, but he at least give you some control. Like yeah, for 60 minutes. a big difference to the we two are, of we them. Is, I, I worry about Gomez in there on his own. I don't think Garner and Gomez are a good combination. Yeah. When I watch the pair of them, I'm like, I, 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 I'm going to sound harsh this. I don't think Garner... I don't... I think Garner needs somebody who can go win the ball back for him. I think he's a good player if he, if he can play with a bit more freedom. Chelsea I think once you ask him to sit in the position, which is going to be tested tonight because... Obviously, we'll have an honor who'll sit there who, who, who does win well, the Someone's got to pick back. Palmer because he finds such great spots behind you. Someone's got to find Palmer. Obviously, M Mudrick, Pace, mm. Mudechi, Pace. So they're going to try and stretch you with that from free with Jackson. And then Palmer are killing that arse space behind. And I don't think Everton have. I think Onana thinks about going forward and attacking. He's a good player, but I don't think his defensive responsibilities are online line at this agree, moment. Yeah. Yeah. I think Garner's the same, and obviously the way he picks the core at the minute, the core is to link with obviously the front man, either Calvert Lewin or obviously because he's out, it'll be Beto tonight who I think is as raw of a striker as I've seen <laughs> live in a while. Like um, Raw's getting that's that's the only the only points. thing I look at is he, he one thing he is is a big physical unit, Beto, and Thiago Silva's playing tonight, so I think you can fucking rough Thiago Silva up as good as he's been. You know he's at the latter stages of his career. And he's, you know, making more more mistakes. Mm. Um, so if I'm better, if I'm Everton, I just say, look, you just go and stand on him because one thing that Beto is is strong. He's a big lump. Like the first time, the first few games that I watched him, I I thought, oh no, he's shite, lad. No, I watched like, him. He, that, honestly, that, he's that, he's I first few games that we first he come. Doncaster. No, lad, he, he played two Doncaster. Two yeah, he did. He did look. I've never told you for twenty million quid that we paid for him. I don't know. He's absolutely shite. Yeah, but we paid for eighty for him. He reminds me of Brett Angel. But we paid, I think, 500 grand <laughs> for Brett, Brett Angel. Angel. Wow. He, he's, just, he's just a big physical. But you, I, I mean, he's a big he's a big lad, 6'4". But I'm like, for 20 million quid, you're needing a lot more. Mm. Like a lot more. And his game, I, I want him to do well, but he's just fucking crap. I've never seen a, a number nine who's meant to be a big athlete be so out of breath and look knackered all the time. <laughs> I Literally, think he's like, he's like a Labrador, yeah? It's like a great athlete. Five Labrador. minutes. He made one run where he should have yeah. scored, actually, and, and put his 2 nil up, but... He tried to get the he tried to get a penalty and get the man sent off when he could have just finished with his left foot. Oh, seeing that, yeah, cut, I think it was a foul him. though. It was he should have scored, but it was but, a, but there's Joe, a foul outside the he, box. He was treading water like he could have been a wet, any other striker. I know, Josh. It's so hard though, he you know, was, when you're coming on as a sub to try and get up to the pace of the game, especially if you're like him, where you think the fans are on you 
and you got lead boots on and, and you're just running like the first when you come on a sub at that level because that game's moving so quick when you come on you come on and it's almost like hyperventilating a little bit for about the first five or six minutes as you your body adjusts because your warm-up can be intense but it's just not the game mm. and then it takes you about that's why when people make subs at like 10 minutes ago i'm like by the time he drops in the game's going to be finished here you won't be in stoppage time is that like, what, yeah. So that he'll have just been trying to get up to the speed of the game and obviously hyperventilating because he's, I think, a nervous. He plays that's, nervous that, for me. That's, it's still down to his character, though, isn't he? That he is fucking shit. Like. Do you know what? I think he's just what he's that desperate to do well. Like he cannot, like he can care too much. Like Darwin Nunes, I think, at Liverpool. No, you know, he, we'll talk about them in a minute. No. Um, prime example of that. Like you can try too hard. Mm. Like you've got to fight in that flow state. That's where confidence comes in. Because when you're confident, you just flow. Because you know, even if you fuck up, you think I'll score the next one. It's when you fucking think people think you're shit, you try harder and you just get worse. Mm. And and the more you want to do well, the further you get away from performing like I've had it. It's horrible because your intention kills you in the end because you care that much. It just paralyzes you. And I think I, I think he's crap, by the way, Beto. <laughs> but I think he's also suffering from, I don't think he's as bad as what he's showing. But I think he's suffering because he's coming with that price tag. Like Darwin Nunes, you can't tell me Darwin's not being affected by that price tag. That way is heavily on him because you've got to prove you're a fucking £80 million striker. Or what did you pay for him? 60, 75? 84 in the end of something you know silly. I mean? it's not that good, let's be honest. If you'd have paid 40 to him, you're buzzing because you go, you know what, fucking great value for four. Like Bobby Firmino comes in at 38 and wow. everyone was on him because he was shite in the first period because he weren't a striker at the nine like no. he thought he was. And then the pressure comes off him because he was half the price of what Nunes was. Nunes's pressure's not going to come off because of that price tag. Yeah, I just, I don't, I think in regards to the price tag, I just never, it, Nunes is, I've never seen some, I think the Fowler said something the other week about him saying, he is what he is. He's just like chaos. He's just, he's got no composure. He's, he puts laces through everything. He's just not like, he, he, like there was a stat and being on. He scores against Brentford the way he's a, a quality finish. I didn't think he was capable of that. That's what I mean. He's capable of of them little one, one in a million. Not I said one in a million. It's one in twenty. He'll he'll do something like that, but he'll miss the easy ones. I, 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 I just can't Salas get my head around it. Like no, Salah's Salah conversion misses, rate. Salah misses a lot Salah's, of chances. Salah's a bad pen taker. Oh yeah, agree with that. Bad pen taker. I agree with that. Pe Salah's pens are shite. Salah. I think he, he goes through streaky spells of finishing sometimes. I go, oh, fucking hell's a great finish. But Loads of times I go, oh, that's a scruffy finish. That for an elite level player, which, well, which Salah is. People said to him, Suarez, he's a scruffy, scruffy finisher. And he, he, he just, he scored them goals though still. Salah gets... Salah's... I think I think Mason Greenwood's better than Salah. Oh. I'm fucking telling you. I'm you telling you. I think Mason Greenwood's better one, than Salah. <laughs> I'm telling you. I think Mason Greenwood's way yeah, better yeah, than Salah. Yeah, he's done well though since he's gone out there. He's a fucking phenomenal player. Yeah, he's the... Mason Greenwood strikes the ball cleaner off both feet than any of them. And bear in mind, like Mo Salah was getting fucking jibbed by Chelsea, getting jibbed by um, Fiorent not Fiorentina, kind of had to go and build his reputation in Fiorentina. Similar to what Greenwood has, albeit different circumstances. Mourinho so. fucks him off, obviously Greenwood's misses is fucking killed. But in, in, in terms of um, prospect, I was looking at that Greenwood saying, he's the best I've seen in a long time. He is the best, the cleanest hitter of the ball off both feet I've seen in a long time. Unerringly accurate. And whoever signs him, he's going to take balls of steel because of the PC brigade. And obviously, what, when you've heard that video and the, 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 oh, the push no. notes, you can't unhear it. No. Yeah. But like, fucking hell. Like, you know, mm. I've seen players playing in the Premier League this season who've been under fucking rape charges. You know what I mean? That's, that, that, that's the big question. Names, no, we can't. Yeah, yeah. Arsenal players. And like, no, they're yeah. still fucking playing. I don't see the outrage for it. You, when we've seen them text messages And, and bear in mind, this is a fella who's obviously fucking had a bit of an issue, but he's still with the girl. He's just had the kids with it. So I'm like, yeah, we've all been girl. fucking, you know, we've all been guilty of doing stupid shit. And this, the modern era now, like, that, that player, Greenwood, is... <sighs> Is another link in in the chain for England because he's he's as good on the front line as I've ever fucking seen at his age. Don't be that good player, but I just think it, it, the, the issues he's got himself is that's what, what's, what's the issue. Oh, lad, you can not uh, watch the video and watch the list of the. But it's... he hasn't been pr proven guilty in the court of law. Only because she, no only she pulled out. Well, that, that, only because he... she dropped the charges. Well, like, that's why. Uh, listen to a bad. voice note that someone's left. Listen, it doesn't sound great, and I'm not defending him because it does sound fucking terrible. But also. The air family have taken him back in. He's got a kid to it and he's living with her. So I'm imagining, I know that's I'm imagining I, yeah, the just... context has been explained to the, to the mum and dad because there's no way you'd let your daughter stay in a relationship with an abusive partner 
if you're a fucking sensible man, forget it how good he is at footy or what he could potentially earn. There's no way you're going to let your daughter stay in a relationship with him. And then you're going to be all hunky-dory if she has a kid to him. So clearly, their family, the close family, who know the context of, of let it go. There's a lot we don't know. You know he hasn't been charged that. by the police. No, so she so why is fucking everybody judge, jury and executioner on the kid? Yeah, because... Uh, you no, know, he's a young kid who's made a fucking mistake. You know, I, I don't know the context of it, but it doesn't sound great. But who knows? I haven't listened to the full tapes. The, the police have listened to them and clearly not fucking nicked them. So, yeah, because it's only it's very very hard to nick someone on hearsay, isn't it? And then well, a pitch, well, again, on, on the, the pictures. The problem you've got is you're ruining a young person's life who's made a mistake. Like if we do that, every person's life's going to be ruined. Pe young people fuck up; they make mistakes. Like especially people who are in the spotlight, especially with people who have everything thrust at them at, at a very young age. I'm not excusing it, but I'm saying you know we have to be mindful of young pop stars do the same, young fucking. Um, I agree. There's people, but actor, there's actors and celebrities. But there's also the people who've done far less. Who've been fucked up. So I mean, to give Green with a second chance, what he'd done. Well, what's he actually done? Well, the, the, the tapes and the, and the videos and the, and the footage. But I'm saying, well, yeah, but he hasn't been charged with anything. So again, we're, we're guilty here of being judge, jury, and executioner on on something that we don't have a full. Um, no, I, full, yeah, full I agree with the full story, but full context. But uh, it's the, the the it's just like the fishy the girlfriend going back on. So on what about the Arsenal player then who's been arrested for two weeks yeah, and he's still playing and he's nuts. back in the team mental, coming on a sub and all mental. that? Mental. Can't get me head around there. Yeah, can't get me head around how he's done that. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. What's the, he there's paid loads of unanswered questions well, about what happened he, in, in, in he America. He paid it off. Well, again, you know, so I'm going, but everyone seems to fucking really like Cristiano at the minute by his undercrackers and his perfume <laughs> and all that. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, you know, like. like the kids made a mistake. I, I think he's. I, I think it's, it's um, a good society that rehabilitates people who make mistakes. Not fucking. It's, e it's, it's easy to just thrust people out. Like, listen, the, there's. If he'd done what he'd said, what was going on in their voice message, clearly the police would have arrested them, and clearly something would have been taken further. So whatever's happened, and whenever people have been spoken to, whatever's been said, because if you think a girl's been raped or brutalized in that yeah. way. Regardless of who it is, and you've heard the voice notes, you're you're gonna you're as a parent, you're gonna want that fully explained to you. Yeah, I, and it's it just it just made a bit. It was just baffling how she's posted all over her Instagram and the pictures on the Instagram what he's done. I'll, to I'll her tell you exactly why. Because if you followed them, I was following it, and I said to the lads close to me, "She's gonna be a problem here," because she was doing that stupid fucking Kardashian thing that they all get caught up into, where they put a picture and they've got the four sales out, yeah, and stupid captions like. Three word fucking things like I, I can't even imagine. But if you get it up, she was kept doing this. So I'm like, she's desperate to be famous. She's um, desperate to be yeah. To and, some... and knowing how good he was, that she, she, she's seen posh and becks and pound signs and everything. Mm. And and for some bizarre reason, I don't know because I don't know the context of it. But as leaked that, right? Like that's come off her phone. She put it out there, and then she o opened up her fucking whole world of pain for both of them. Yeah. Because the fact that she's... Now, if it happened, I'm saying, fucking open up the world of pain. The fact that she's still with him, got a kid to him, says that we didn't get all the full context. Now, I'm not excusing what I heard on that voice note because it was fucking terrible. It was my daughter. I'll be after smashing his fucking head in. But clearly, as a family, they've all moved on from it. So why, why are the rest of the fucking British public, certainly the British footballing public, who have absolutely no fucking eye or moral ground to get on, high horse to get on, when we look at who owns some of our fucking football clubs and the business yeah. practices... To say this young kid's sigh and died in the country because he's made a mistake. Now, if he'd been prosecuted by the police and she'd left him and all, then I say, look, you're done, you're toast. Yeah. But that isn't what's happened. You know, justice has, oh, I agree. has we unfolded don't know story, and he hasn't but... been, and, and we don't know the context of it. So I think it's wrong to ruin the kid's life. And he's a phenomenal fucking footballer who has clearly done fucking stupid shit and, and made a mistake. Yeah. Until we get the full context of it, I don't think we have the right to be judge, jury, and executioner, and we have, we won't have an ability to get listened to a play down in court. Because Listen, I don't think we'll ever get the full that context. That United have United have made their points and they've sacked them over it. Because in, in the midst of this, Cole Palmer, what are we thinking about Cole Palmer? Uh, Showed some balls to leave Man City. Showed the, forced the move. The right he? balls to leave Man City. Uh, uh, brilliant talent. Does he go to Euros? Yeah. Got to for me. He's got to. What about Phil? Uh, what about Phil Foden? He obviously goes. The he's Euros. first name the team sheet. What about sheets. Mason Mount? Looks like he's had a bit of a guarantee because mm. he done the England kit launch last week. I know. I don't think no he, he doesn't. He, he doesn't go for that team. the England kit launch. I know. Yeah, it's just, he doesn't go for me. He can't. I'm just saying he done the England kit launch. So you would would think? Do you think Bramford's got a chance? 
I, I, yeah, I, I, I baffled me. That's just Southgate through and through, though, at the, the England. This worries me, this this fall in front. I just don't think it's got enough... I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but I don't think it's got enough defensive no. protection for what Everton will need tonight to, but to protect... But for Brandweight not to get a sniff in the friendlies the other week was just... I could get my head round it. I just don't know why. It's just classic Southgate. Do you know why? <sighs> because Kobe Mainu gets 20 million added to his price tag and Gareth Southgate... A, it'd been rumoured he was taking the United job and the United fans were all like, fuck that, we don't want that yeah. fucking boring cunt. So what happened was Southgate then doesn't call him up for the 21s and then calls him up for the uh, full uh, squad yeah. when um, someone pulls out. I can't remember who pulled out. Was it Henderson? Henderson didn't go. There was Henderson, wasn't it? That, yeah, so so Maynou gets called up three days after Southgate's linked with Man United and the fans poo-poo it. Almost to get the Man United fans back on side because instantly, as soon as Kobe Mainu, and he done well. Yeah, he did do well, yeah. yeah. But that's 20 million, 25 million added to his value straight away. Yeah. Southgate's back in favour now with the Man United fans because he's picked the Man United. He got kid. man of the match, Mainu, didn't he, for England? And I was like, well, he's nowhere near that. Because he was his age, I think. When no you're 18, win. I know, but when you're 18, like, when you're 18, you're that young, you go in, you do, you do, you do well. Yeah, you get. Obviously, people highlight your loads, you know what I mean? Because yeah. they, they want to, um, obviously. Build you up a little bit, but um, but for not to give to to, to have to not to give Brandweight a, a minute was just. Nuts. But again, if he'd play for Man United, he might. Yeah, have done, I agree with but that. obviously, if he gives him a minute, then if Everton want to charge a fee for to Man United for him in the summer, that's how he's he wants to get him. Yeah, it's 20, large, 20 million yeah, less, yeah, less off it. Yeah, so yeah. he's called him up because he can't ignore him anymore. And he's a nice left foot adoption in there. Southgate, but but Southgate's angling because he's in a WhatsApp group with Dave Brailsford, Jim Ratcliffe. I'm not saying that's what's gone on, but no, it's good when you look at it, yeah, that, it does, that makes sense. Maynou gets minutes and Brandfight doesn't. Yeah, but I still don't see. I still see Brady get get getting. North of 70 million, 60, 70 well, million. If he's a full international, you go, hang on, he's going to play 50 times for England. We want top dollar. If he's not, you go, oh, well, you might get a cap. Steve Bruce. Right, predictions for the game. Just about to kick uh, off. I think Evan will lose. He's starting the clock. I think now. Evan will lose. 3 1. Three, I'm going to go 3 0. I can't see Evan scoring. Yeah, and I think. Not I just, with better up top. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. I'm going to go 3 1 just because I think. These are a bit dodgy at the back. I, I think Mudrick's going to rinse Coleman, isn't he? The problem they've got one, yeah. they say to you straight away. Oh, oh. Cole Palmer. I said to you oh. straight away, Cole Palmer's position is going to be a problem for Everton. I've seen Everton play a lot recently, and it was that he just meg there. Far too open in the Sorry, central corridors. Oh, that would, um, that would that, be on will it? That's going to be a terrible matchup for Everton. Have we got any um, bets on? Hey, have you Who seen the chat Liverpool's? No, we've only got. I haven't put a bet on. I've though. done nil nil. You done nil nil for this? Cole Palmer to have a shot on target. Do you think to score nil nil? Nil nil. <laughs> Has there been a non-nil game this... Oh, the, the oh nah, nah, and Sai C, though, so far. Oh, he's only stood on him a little bit. Yeah, that's a sore one, that right, his ankle bone. It's, it's, it's not, it's not ripped not a, all the socks there, though. No. What do you think about his socks thing? I meant back to, and forth with your keys on this. There's meant to be a, 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 a medical reason behind it, but I don't think there is, because I thought compression's meant to help. It does, yeah. It's just so, fashion like anything. Someone's done it, and then someone's gone, oh, that looks cool. Quite, And then they get a bit OCD, and then they get, like... You it's play well in one maybe, game, yeah. and fucking before you know it, you're cutting every pair of socks. Um, that's, that's a good eye line from Everton. Everton have all the line a bit higher, so obviously Chelsea can't get on the bottom bottom end of it. Um, yeah, yeah. I think I, it's I think it's become quite fashionable. Rather yeah, I know than what functional. you mean. Or even you just seeing oh we him and him and him are there doing it, so I I have got to do it. But, but you need a new pair of socks every game because as soon as you wash them they're done. Oh, yeah, they can't be washed. As soon as you wash them, yeah. done. Yeah, you can't wash them. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, but but. I'm, I, I feel for like the mums now who's kids doing it as well not just these these oh nasty. kids are all starting to do it that's what I'm saying so you're paying 140 quid for, 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 for the footy for the kids but the kids kid cuts the socks you just say fucking don't cut them again we fucking don't cut them again fucking mum fucking wrap around your neck you know why are you, why are you cutting your socks oh because such a soft shape does it here yeah? but the kids are doing clothes. it that's what I'm saying no I know because they'll do anything they'll dye their hair fucking green if, if like blonde like Dali Ali yeah. well yeah yeah they would why is he on fucking why is he on MMF anyway yeah. Has I played the game for fucking months? It's a disgrace. You kind of you're saying, do you know what? Be a victim. Fuck your life up. Fuck your career up. And yeah, you know we'll still we'll still fucking give you every opportunity. That's a good idea as well. Come on, chance. Chance. Oh, oh. let's pull it back out. That's the only way I can see us creating anything. That's, that's, that's all I've seen yeah. from Evan the last few weeks. Corners and obviously um, any chance to load the box. Someone's asked, how did you find playing for Warnock? Hated it. Hated him, more importantly. But I thought he was Why are we talking about fucking baseball. Warner? Someone's asked. Um, Why though? Yeah. Why? Why did they Chelsea? Him? Someone asked the Has question. He died or something? <laughs> <laughs> Why did they bring them on? <coughs> he was on that thingy, wasn't he? He was on that podcast today. 
that under the was under, under the clash and oh, stuff. Oh no, one of the po- uh, yeah, happy hour or something podcast he was on. Just waffling shit again now. I actually seen he was linked himself with the Plymouth job when uh, they obviously sacked Foster and obviously Juice Nip. Juice Nip, He's yeah. gone in, done well, won the yeah. last two games, beat obviously Leicester at the weekend. And um, his answer to it in the press conference was, was quite funny, quite novel, but I thought he was... At, at that point, he's I thought he must want the job. Does he live down there? Yeah, he's got, I think he's got a golf course down there somewhere, Warner. Yeah. I think that's where he's based. And obviously, yeah. he linked himself with it as he does in the press. And, you know, and then, obviously, they come out, because Juice Nip's the technical director, I think they're all sporting director. And he's he's in situ. I think he's going to have a crack at it. And obviously, yeah. won the first two out of two. But this was before, obviously, Warner... Um, had ruled himself out and obviously he came out and said I've, he, Juice Nip said I've got a brother in Aberdeen or something and like proper left loads on Warnock and I thought Oof, he's not getting that fucking job and then as it is he's gone in and won two out of two Juice Nip so that's going to be tight down the bottom of the champ that's going to be tight yeah yeah some big like Chef, Chef Wedder having a go again Stoke are not out of it yeah you got a good point against Chef Wedder though on the yeah, weekend yeah Blackburn beat Blackburn beat Leeds I know he's, he's turning them round there. Mm, yes that's um, uh, uh, John Eustace. Eustace. He, well, he was he was at Birmingham up to six, didn't he? Before, before obviously Rooney went in and fucking slipped in, yeah. Almost at them. Then at Birmingham until he won at the weekend, we're fucking getting touch and go. Mm. Um, did you see the Birmingham owner coming out? Je- yeah, the fans seen that. It's great to see you, ain't it? Yeah. So very, very super, super, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, this is our house. This is our house. Like, when the, when the going got tough, out of and all our fucking chairman would even turn up at the game. Yeah. Stayed at home, watched it on the telly last season. 80,000 inch. I think Chelsea is stupid to launch the season. You better, I thought you were going to score then. I think they're better taking like two and three manners to move Everton's zone around a little bit because Everton, are, you know, they've actually got a good size for the team. He, you know, Adam Beto wins a big unit. Go on. What? Oh. Don't pass them back blind, fuck. See, I just, I just really, really... Oh, no. Oh, He's only just done the same thing. Have it. If I you shouted that then, lad, then he attacked then, didn't he? Can't Did take you see Neville Southall's thing? Have you seen him. Neville Southall's thing about him? Look about, talking about Pickford. No. But he says he just... He's nervous every time he watches him. Is he, yeah? yeah. No. Which is what I get off him. I, don't, like, I, I, know I, just, I just get he's got a mistake in him every game, watching him, England or whatever. I think he's got a mistake. He's a great shot. I think he's... Listen, I think he's a good keeper. He's done this and that. He's a good keeper. But he's got to fuck up every game in him. Whether it's a kick, a back pass, or you know, just so something. like a tightest bramble of keepers, you know. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. never think the Chris Small of keepers. I I find them very hard of hands in terms of like he, he fucking wants to be, make big camera saves and he vent, like you see Allison sometimes and they just catch it. Yeah, oh no, it's the same. Bounces off his palms. Not only what's the, the, the yeah to keep his that. Oh. I genuinely yeah, don't think Pickford. Oh, no, it's a bit like that. Same yeah, start, yeah. yeah. I like, genuinely think Pickford doesn't know what score it is when he comes off. You know, or, he, or like he's arse when he gets beat. He's always he snooze going. He's snooze out of his mind. He's all you ever see him with is tons yeah. of snooze and all that. If, if I was a Premier League club and I called a player a, a player on snooze, like I'd just fucking take off. Like what? Delhi Ali's another one. Snooze. I think. Uh, that's prescription snooze. meds, the sleepers, and say. the laughing gas fucking gear. Yeah, probably other stuff as well. They're worse than loads of class A's. Did you see Daddy's Danny Murphy brains. come out saying he was on the yeah. Charles Sue? Yeah. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, I thought that's what you said. That so remember you said that. Can, can, can you say, can say it on here about him? Um, and you played Danny Murphy on here? And you sold his bear, you said. No, he called me a spotty cunt, didn't he? Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, one of my first games. And no. he obviously just thought I was yeah. a young kid. And then obviously I gave him a bit of a verbal. Uh, no, you said to him. Uh, verbal. You said Dane Bauer stuff, he made it to another level. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I think I, I've got Have you ever had that to phone you? Steve, 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 He's all, yeah. like he's never, I've never had an issue with him when I've I seen him. I think, he's, he's, I think he's not. This is a well, well worse on the radio than that him. I don't think you're a Liverpool fan, though. No, he just talk, he does talk waffle, but I mean, he's well worse than him on the radio. You got that fucking guy, a bonnet on, Jamie O'Hara, that's fucking hell, Twitter and swat. I know, but they had like talk sports. Like, I thought, I, thought, I think, like, they're they, more they, comedy they than footy. They're more comedy than footy, yeah. That's offside, yeah. It's like, I don't know, it's. What that, that bonnet on? That influences on this fucking. Clueless. On this sky every fucking Saturday, absolute blur boxers who I've know nothing them. about footy. Like, literally, just, yeah. just buffoons who are around the game. Um, and they come on like the trackies and the cheap The amount of these birds that now comment on, like, and they're like only fans, but footy, for footy. 
Like, have you not seen? They, they've actually got like a studio. Obviously, someone's like pimping them. I've oh, seen that. Yeah, and they all use the same. Yeah, um, and there's a place over in Spain. Yeah, but they use it. Fan who's one of them. Like, well, one's a Liverpool fan, fan, one's a Villa fan, one's a Chelsea fan. So I'm like, they've obviously w- worked out how to monetize. Like, yeah, how to pull a kick down. Yeah. I'm fucking idiot. Well, there's all them fellas who I, I was having a pop because I got accused in the Bristol Post of uh, bullying this analysis guy oh, we had. Analyst, who didn't yeah. work for me. Yeah, what went on there? When I went into Bristol Rovers, there was a director of football who was desperate for us not to get the job. So he was trying to actively sabotage us, even in the interview. Tommy Witherington, fucking chancer. But my card had already been marked on him by everyone who had done me due diligence with. Said, listen, he's a fucking snake. Just be mindful of him. But as is me, I just give everyone the time of day. Just allow them enough um, rope to fucking hang themselves. So he just carries on. This is going to happen, that's going to happen. And I, I decided I wasn't taking the job during the interview <laughs> process. So I end up giving it to him at the end of it, saying, look, if I actually took the job, what you've just said w- wouldn't be going on. This this is how it would play out. But I didn't care because I weren't going to take the job. So we leave the meeting, and obviously the owner, Wilde, wasn't in that meeting at the time. He was back in Jordan on, on business and presumed I was going to take the job. So when I reject the job, he's like flabbergasted, like, why, how, what, what's going on? So I'm like, well, look, if you want me to tell you why, I'll come back on the Zoom and we'll have a Zoom Saturday morning and I'll explain to you. Oh, he's got a score. Oh, <laughs> honest to God, lad. I did say to you, it, it's oh, harder to do what he's just done. Darwin Beto. <laughs> like, it's... No, no, like, no that's... It's harder to do I what get, he's just done. It's harder to... It's over the bar from this far out. He's welly down on the honey. No, so but still, all just, just right in the ass. midriff. There's, 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 you let, you just let it, let it hit your body. He's got a score. Yeah, just saying. let it... Don't try and score it. Just let it hit your body. Great, great run. Oh, I'll say that. He's got a score. Got to score that. Yeah, he has well, to carry score, on. Yeah. Got to score. Um, that's a set of that, like. So yeah, while he so on the zoom. Getting, getting back so on the zoom. So I come on the zoom. This this was like the first year. Whatever we said, listen, it could have been a great job that, but obviously can't work with them two player boxers, which was Martin Stans, the CEO. Said ten thousand unread emails and six six hundred plus unread invoices when he got sacked at the fan club. <laughs> Just incompetence. And then Witherington, they were like Batman and Robin, but the, Witherington's plan was to to run everything and then run the club into that much of a bad thing that they turn to him because he's the only director of football I've ever known who sacks managers and then goes in as caretaker while the manager's sacked so he was hoping he'd get offered the job but obviously you know that was his plan so his plan was to drag the club down to a point where he could be the knight in shining armour just mad guy and anyway when I turn up he's got five scouts I haven't met any of them but, and, and there's this analysis guy who's 21 so we're in a staff meeting after like our second game there or whatever. Me, Mangi, Jack Major, Kev Mayer, um, Adam Mahoney, Lewis Mahoney, uh, maybe the fitness coach, and and this analyst sitting just with his laptop up like that. So everyone's discussing kind of the pros and the cons of the last game or the last couple of games from a you know specifically playing football um, angle. <laughs> and um, Clint Hill's talking about something we've seen, and this lad just inter- basically pops up from behind his laptop and interrupts him. So I'm like, I'm like, who are you? So he's like, Jamie, I'm this analyst. And I'm like, all right, do us a favour. At the time, we all trained in this uh, it was the GFA, like the police headquarters, while they were building the training ground. So all every, all the bibs, balls and cones and all that were in the one building. So I've just got a case here. I've gone, right, come on, outside. Give him the ball. I went, Let's see how many keep-ups you can do. I swear to you, the second keep-up was lucky, and he was at full stretch when he got it, right? The second one. So I said, don't ever chirp up again. There's, there's 2,000 plus on league appearances in that room and you're chirping up and you're 21 and you can't do any keep-ups and you look at a laptop like you, you can't interrupt experienced people. So don't fucking ever interrupt any of my staff ever Rightly again. so, rightly so. Right, so he sits back down in there. Then the next day he doesn't come in. So I don't, Eddie Geno, who's my director, to, like to get me staff and that together, has obviously must have got wind of him. It's gone... Keep him out of here. Because I believed he was only Witherington's listening device anyway, reporting back what was going on. I didn't have confirmation of it at the time, but that was what a, we were told or believed by the other staff members as well. Yeah. So he doesn't come back in. That's two megs he's had, Palmer. Um, oh, my God. Oh, oh, told you. Oh. Poverty's is going to pick up. That's hell of a goal. And a meg. Yeah, you called it. Um, Everton's midfield, honest to God, when I've seen them, the two, they, they just get too flat. There's no defensive protection. That was that was class, though. It was, but look, that's a centre half tackling them. That's Bramfrey coming out of the slot to tackle them. That should have been one of the fucking midfielders. So the centre half shouldn't be coming that far out of the slot to tackle a number ten. That should be a deep lying midfielder. 
Yeah, so once he does that, your back line, your offside line, it's disjointed because your central corridors is pulled. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. So it's... even if your full backs drop in, watch. Yeah, Bram so that's Bram Fight coming out to him. That's oh. Meg. Get a bus through there, mate. All right. Look at Myelenko now, shoulders. Watch oh, Myelenko. Can't get across and cover it. Oh, nah, nah, look. Oh, nah, nah. oh the little flat. Yeah. See. You can do that no low, can't you? Good little back heel. Good little set. First time as well. He's, no one takes that first time, mate. Just like stumps it, look. See? No, he's got a little arms on. He's yeah, flat, is he? a, a, full, a, a goalkeeper with full length arms might have got that. <laughs> um, so anyway, he doesn't come in the next day. A week later or something, we're at home. And um, you get this same kid, this Jamie, gets caught giving information, sensitive team information to the Bristol Post at our game we're playing at the Mem and he's up there talking to the reporters from the Bristol Post before the team sheets are out and be giving them information. Eddie Geno over there is him and obviously that's the, that's the, he gets released from the club yeah. because yeah, he's, he's, he's tipping off basically. Yeah, the press. The press. Yeah. 21 year old, never played the game, done two to keep up, second one was lucky, <laughs> tipping off the press. We think he's a listening device. We don't know. He gets removed from the club. That, so... In the midst of that, the owner still trust, trusted this Tommy Witherington. Up until the point, the owner's obviously got a, a player he wants to bring in from Jordan or something on trial. <laughs> and text Witherington to say, look, and he, is he all right to go into the 18s or 19s in the academy or whatever? And Witherington me, means to text the academy fella to say, listen, fucking owner's got this fucking player and he's probably not going to be good enough, but fucking just humour him. And sends that message that was meant for the academy fella to the owner. Oh. So at that point, he just kills himself. So at that point, the owner no longer trusts him and obviously removes him not long afterwards. He then rocks up at Kings Lynn, which is like National Fucking League North or something, or South. And who does he hire as his, his, his uh, the kid. Head of recruitment? The kid. Yeah, so he then was he gets, then. Then he gets, he jibs them, he jumps ship from them to uh, Aldershot in the conference mid season. And who does he take with him? The kid. <laughs> his fucking so he nuts. Here's his device. Oh, oh, has he missed that? Behind it, so behind he was him. his fucking listening device. He's took, yeah. him, he's took him to both jobs he's gone to after he's left. Yeah. And I'm like, and then he's written a, written an article with the Bristol Post who didn't speak to him in the last six months at Bristol about me being a bully because when he interrupted Clint Hill, who's got 700 plus senior games across all different l- leagues, it's gone behind him. Talking about football, that I'm a bully. So I thought, and then I seen a few simps. I think the young fat kid who had the speech impediment I was having a go at, <laughs> and EFL fella, Peter started Griffin. simping him. Peter Griffin started simping him, going, "Oh, it's terrible to hear that was your experience." I'm like, "Shut up, you fucking fat little twat!" <laughs> First and foremost, fat people, you got no respect in the football environment. You just haven't. If you come in and you're not dead funny or dead knowledgeable and you're fat, you are fucked. You yeah. are fucked because we're all elite level athletes. So if you can't stay out the fridge. We've got no respect for you. We haven't. If you're waddling around the training ground, unless you're the funniest man in there, unless you're very knowledgeable about whatever you're in there for. And if you're overweight and borderline obese, you're fucked. That's why when they always make this argument with, I don't know whether you've seen it, the women's manager, as soon as she takes a men's job, waddles in the training ground, and waddles in the dressing room, she's getting fucking legs straight away. And, and I'm glad she's shown the true colours there because... I've been watching the play out of that because I thought, what would have happened if that Jonas Echterval had to push them a race? Yeah, you know. What, what would have happened? You know, Emma's the darling, darling of the media. She's the woman who might cross over into the men's game. Well, I think she's shown the other day the reasons why the two codes should be separated. We should segregate men in the men's game, women in the women's game. Um, so Echterval needs to get his ass into gear and get himself a job in the men's game because... If that could have played out a different way and we maybe didn't have that game videotaped and it was one person's word against another person's word, based on their distortion of reality and the aftermath of it, you know, hmm. I, I know hopefully when you clip this up, you can put that Sky Sports clip on where the fella's talking about him and goes, you know, allegedly pushed him. I'm like, no, no, we fucking watched it with our own eyes. She pushed him. Hmm. So she should have come out and said, listen, I shouldn't have done that. Did she do that? No. She, she, she obviously had 10, That's 12 days that. to prep for it. Yeah, and then did a David Bress Brent esque yeah. interview where she tried to read a quote of something that sounded quite profound and windswept and interesting, but made her sound like a fucking idiot. Yeah, and I just was just laughing, going, "That's why you should never use quotations of stuff that isn't naturally in your vocabulary, because if you don't know the pitch and the tone and the context of how to say something, you fucking make yourself look like a fucking idiot." <laughs> but um, I said that it, it's because Emma Hayes was the one who I've when I've listened to, I thought, you know what, she sounds like she knows what she's talking about, and she's 
must be must be really good at a job and that. But then that's just killed that interview. That's just like, what are you talking about? Do you know what? I think that does, and and I'll I'll fetch you, I'll have you. Like I'm telling you, like you, I, I don't like fat coaches. Go to. Who's picking them up? Who's fucking picking them up? Who's picking them up? Have you got them? I've got them. Who's picking them up in Everton's midfield? Again, who's picking them up? I said to the start of the game, the big, big fucking there. problem for Everton's going to be who picks Palmer up. He's None saying, of them have got a clue what's happening. I think he made a good save. John pick for the first one. I don't think that was. He did, I think. but look, hard palms right back out into the danger yeah, area. Yeah, like, he's going to fucking burst his, burst his brain here. It, it, we, we need to get a Sean Dice bobblehead, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's watch. Shit, it? Like, you shouldn't get out of that corner. Why you is, be yeah, you, if, if you're going to come up, you've got to push up. Should be tra- Who's got Cole Palmer here? Where's Palmer? Look, look where he is, edge of the box. Who's picking him up? Garner. Oh, no. Doesn't track him, doesn't pick him up. Why? Because he hasn't got any fucking defensive acumen. He's not thinking, where's Cole? He should be thinking there, Garner. Got to get in front of doesn't Cole even Palmer. look at Palmer, just looks at the ball. ball. He's ball watching, he's got to be looking where Palmer's And, and you know why? He's not a defensive fucking thinking midfielder. He's a typical academy player who's very yeah, good. Pick for Palmer's very good back. technique. Palmer's it right back. Why did he catch that? Fault. Why did he catch that? Because he's got... A- Fucking solid hands. I think he's actually got rigor mortis. I don't think he can actually <laughs> bend his fingers to catch the ball. He, like he, he cannot. He cannot physically. He's, actually, he's, got, he's just gone. Like, here you go. Have, a, have, have some. Have some of the ball back, please. Two things happened there. Seamus Coleman should have got him pinned in the corner. He shouldn't have got out of that corner without like a throw in, or he let him off too early and he went back, back again. Garner then sold his wicket on the outside and then never tracked the runner. A ball watching. That's. But, but I agree with you. Pickford could do more there. You're yeah, pushing Pickford's that right back out there. into the scoring area. Fucking hell, I went for 3 0. Oh, oh that's another nutmeg. <laughs> There's going to be some serious questions start to get asked about Daishi if they go and get snotted here. Because they weren't happy with him before the Burnley game. Burnley basically fucking gift wrapped Everton the goal. And then had a man sent off, and Everton were actually worse yeah. when they went down to 10. They didn't. Burnley. Burnley yeah, you would have thought Everton had the 10, yeah, not Burnley. Yeah, were, they were, yeah. You know, the, the, there's the purest amongst the Evertonians. That's there's a loads of Everton fans I know who were just not having. Just not, the, 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 the patience is wore thin. The thing is, again, <laughs> is that the kid from Dingo next to him there? That's Kevin Frelfall, who's the yeah, technical Kevin director. Frelfall, yeah. That's Kevin Frelfall, yeah. That's 7-7. Seven, 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 yeah. Seven. I thought that was fucking Deli Alley. They looked a bit like Deli Alley before the machine. <laughs> <laughs> it <laughs> it does actually a bit, yeah. Like an older version of Deli Alley. That's a bad one, isn't it? We've got Deli Alley at the club still paying his wages but can't play him because you have to pay 20 odd million. Yeah. They fucking do. Thanks. So you can't, thra- but if you can't afford to play Deli Alley, you can't afford to sack Sean Dyche. Oh, Evan, Evan are in a fucking pickle. If they're, if they're spending or they're loaning 25 million pounds a, a month, month off 777 to pay the wages. Do you know what I mean? Like It's not just the wages. Like, I know, it's not, oh, but I mean, it's, it's, it's well. but it's Everton so ever, ever, a negative for like most months. Now, it's a little ground as yeah. well, but I mean, it means, you, means you're going to have to sell in the summer. Someone's got to go, balance the books. But then you stay up in the Premier League, you get another, what, 250 mil, don't you? Who did they sell? Oh, there's two there. Yeah. Bram Yeah. Yeah. Pickford. It's Corey. You won't get money for the Corey. He's over will. 30. African over 30, lad. You're not getting money for an African over 30. I'm telling you. An African over 30. Is he African you are Corey not... or French? French, isn't he? Lad, he's oh, fucking yeah. African. I know, yeah. Fucking Defo French. A- Abdullah Kai. Is he Algerian? Al- but is he Algerian? Who's he play for? Senegal? Algerian? Yeah, the Algerian French kids. What, the the, the, the core I plays for... Like he's played that for the Nations, no? no? When he was at Watford? Black Algerians. But he's, I haven't he's got my phone on me. Google it there, no, you've no, got your no, phone. No. The core is... I'm sure he's played for Senegal or for no. something like that. He's definitely played in the African Cup of Nations. Uh, Mali. Mali, is he? Born in France, he played for the Mali national team. Yeah, I've seen him play for definitely African, African Cup of Nations. And remember at Watford, he went away, I'm sure. Because I think that he, when he was, he was before Evan got him, Evan take him on a free. Marvel but if he Silver. was born in no. France, that paid means... For them. I think he paid 20 million he's for been, him. He's been a good signing, to be fair to If the he's born in France, it's Pazzy signed. Oh, right, in terms of, the, in terms of his carbon bone date, yeah, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, rather than the, uh, the rather pure than, ones, the yeah, pure rather Africanos. Than born in the middle of nowhere in Africa. Oh, uh, Tony Yeboah. Tony Yeboah, 6th of the 6th, 1966. What was that kid's name he played for? <laughs> name for Lazio? Remember swear him? to God, I'd oh, Google Tony oh, Yeboah. Yeah, just Google him there. Just get I me seen his him pop Swear to the other day with uh, a couple of his fucking rip snores as he used to score. Lad, he had a thunderbolt in him. Remember the one he scored? Against Liverpool, Liverpool. Was it a David James. Game? Yeah. 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 yeah on the angle. Bar, yeah. 
and he, he actually lobbed with, with a thunder bastard, lobbed James. And it was like, how did you do that? Park as well, where he just turned yeah. around and just fresh of bubbles off his neck. shin, buffled off his knee. Lad, he, had, he used to wear the SBA Pumas, thing. didn't he? SBA yeah. Kings. Yeah. And lad, he used the letters about that thing on them, though. Stripe it in the net. Where was he before that? Where did he sign? Germany. Up? Yeah, Germany, good shout. Yeah, was he like Heinz, like Frank Fairs or something Frank like that? Frank there was two he played for because one of the clips I've seen, he scored, he scored a fucking. No, JJ Kotcher was Frank Fair, uh, weren't he? JJ Kotcher came from, was Heinz, like Frank Fair. He was outrageous player, eh? Yeah, he had some ability, didn't he? I was sorting on the way back. Uh, the fella sitting next to me was a Bolton fan on the flight back. So I was chatting away with him about obviously Adam Collins and yeah. like them being there or thereabouts. And obviously we were, we were flying at half 12, so we weren't landing until six, so you couldn't get the footy results. We were pretty much out the gate Saturday yeah. in terms of flying. And um, we were talking about Sam Allardyce and like the Bolton. What we were talking about was. like Fernando Hierro. Um, but we were talking about the first good Bolton side with Ida Johnson and yeah. John McGinley. And John McGinley. When they first yeah. come up, Mike Whitlow and all that, we were, we were trying to remember all mad uh, Simon Charlton. Simon Charlton, um, yeah. Gundy Bergson, Pierre Franson. Yeah. Um, and we were just going through, like, saying what was the best days for you as a Bolton fan. He was just like them Sal- Sam Allardyce days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big But you think, you know, the disruptor, they were the original disruptors, weren't they? And yeah. then, obviously, the same thing happened to them. Allardyce got poached by Newcastle. Team started getting broken yeah. up bit by bit because it's it's really difficult to not, not only, you know, occasionally you can break into that top six. Yeah. But to do it consistently because of the way the gears are working, and yeah. even more so now with the financial gears working in the favour, it's fucking even harder. So that's what, what what we're basically saying is the way they've got it in the NBA and the NFL with the drafts, which can never happen over here, but no. that's a lot better for the for the product because well, it, it's it's more it's a fairer output each year. You can have one team coming second and coming third and bottom, and you can it's just mad. Well, well that that's a thing now, isn't it? So the big problem is like when you see the, the financial numbers coming out, the 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 amount of money that goes out the game in agents fees. So obviously. That's the one you watch reported as well. Well, again, if, if you're the big clubs and you can somehow manage to get a draft system, it's we, it's it's well less waste for you. It's one of your big expenditures gone. Like in the NFL, mm. you don't see people pay hundred million for a player. You know, they no. give future trades, future yeah, draft yeah. picks. You know, maybe swap players. You know, but they don't they don't exchange the sums of money. And then also, you have got to remember a percentage of that. Usually, a good agent will take between ten and fifteen percent. A shit agent might take five percent. So 10 or 15% of that coming out of the deal straight away. That's over the whole package of the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, so, right. you know, people see uh, Addy Kane go to uh, Bayern Munich for 100 million. No, That's just a transfer fee. Yeah. He says he signs a four year deal and he's going to be on 400 grand, 300 grand a week, let's say. Yeah. Then Plus your agent fee on top. What's 400 grand a week? 50, Double 50, 20, 50, million, yeah. 20 million a year. So times that over four, it's 80 million. And then plus well, your agent fee, about another 20 million and maybe. And then you sign on fees and any commercial so, stuff. So whatever there. your transfer so fee then, is, double it. Well, well again, and then, and then what happens is, it, it, you know, the agent's taking a percentage of that. Yeah. And that's going out the game. That's not going, you know, from yeah. club to club. or So the, the problem is, as fees are not getting smaller, are they? They're getting bigger. Nice to be an agent, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm saying, you know, but again, the problem is, if you're a top agent, you never want that to close. So you're going to fight with everything you've got mm. to keep that open. That's but the lobby. clubs are going to want, the clubs are going to want to close that mm. because if they're going to go, they don't want a promotion relegation and they want to kind of break away the Super League or cl- closing the shop a little bit, which I think they're slowly doing with these FFP regulations. You know, they're going to change it again this year now because. Two teams have fallen foul of it, and they've got right to learn. So we need to change that again now to make it even harder for them. It, I said that the actual rule change makes no odds. What they're so doing? So how would how are Newcastle qualifying for the Champions League and then under pressure to sell players like that's outrageous? When you just come off the back of having the most successful season in twenty years, sold Mike had... Ashley run the club scrupulously in the last period to make sure yeah. they were they were like the but best I... investment for any potential buyer. But since the Saudis come in, the the, like, the the spend on players has been. Massive looking at what Eddie Howe's bought. To. I know they needed to, that's what I'm saying. So how else you grow your football team? You can't grow all the infrastructure and all that you get, unless you get success no. on that's the field. What, that's what they want you to do. So again, and then you're going off the FFP of, based on what Kev, Kieran Maguire said to us from fucking 2011 Ashley or something. Young. Of, yeah, yeah. Actually young still playing. Which is wrong league. for us. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. bad because it? Jack Harrison's that bad. Uh, that's why. <laughs> no, I don't know, you know. Lad, Jack Harrison's why is it, why is it Patterson getting a sniff? I don't know, he's had a, didn't he have a ding dong with Daishi out in Portugal, wasn't yeah, it? A bit that, of a, uh, and that's Daishi it. Daishi collared him, didn't he? I know, I've heard he collared him, yeah, but is that, is that can't be it. Daishi must let that go over. He's just out of position, though. 
Like he's, he's got backside. When, That's not a yellow card, though. No, not a yellow dot. Well, never. It's not. It's because he's out of position, and you, once you go off your feet, you run the risk, don't you? If you're out of position, you go off your feet. I And again, the, the problems they're having is not one of them's got a defensive fucking thought. The three midfielders for Everton don't have a defensive thought in their head. And if he brings on Gomez, Gomez doesn't really want to get on the ball and share it. But at least Gomez has control. Where's Garner Gay? Injured? Where's Adrissa Garner Gay? Who I don't think's the best, but he's... We've got a, he's defensive the mind. He play it. better when he plays as a team, although obviously individually. I haven't ever got no one coming through. Decent. No, because I think Hunsworth <laughs> can ruin the academy for a while, hasn't he? I can't believe you haven't kept hold of Ella Sims. Ella Sims is better than Beto. Yeah. Oh, oh did. The, uh... There's Jordan Pickford's one mistake a game. Third mistake, I think, for Pickford. Yeah, no, sorry, two I mistakes this game. The first. the first was out, but that one is... <coughs> that's just clap. Just the first is a bad save. Has he? That's his mistake of the game I'm talking about. Look, my fault. Clay, that's fault. his classic Pickford right there. Who else's fault is it? My fault, lads. I was about that. Are we going to win a major tournament with him as the cat? Oh, no chance. That's his third attic at, at home, is it? On the bounce? I thought he was over the bar, though, there, did you? Been on the watch, yeah, it? mouse, watch. Right pegger. Ah, oh, good finish to be Great fair. Great finish, too. yeah. I thought you did it over, did you? What's he, he doing? doing? There's three options yeah. there and he's picked <laughs> the wrong one. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah. Great finish in the kid to be fair. Absolute short back and stomping him. That's 19 Premier League goals he's he scored. Palmer from you the know field. what? I heard the story about Chelsea coming in for him and he had to go and see Guardiola and tell him he wanted to leave because he he, the answers he got in terms of how much he was going to play weren't right. And fair play because it would have been easy to fucking stay at City. Oh, so yeah, where's, well, so where's one for you then? Would he have got any game time this year? No, because Doku's coming. Yeah. I don't know. because That's why he's left. Where would you, where would you well, get in? Listen, the kids made the right decision. He showed yeah. he wanted to go and play football and gone to London. Move. The people don't realise how hard it is. As a young lad, to move away from home, he's a Manchester boy. He's moved to London. United fan, isn't he? Is he United fan? Well, yeah. but again, once you're playing, you're not a fan. He's, he's yeah, but I mean, he's, he's. But I'm saying he's moved to London, which is not easy, and he's fucking not only settled, he's become their main player. He's become yeah, Chelsea he in the midst of Chelsea signing all kinds of different top. Yeah, I've seen a lot of comments before this player. game. Call him a, a penalty merchant. Who cares? Well, he scores goals, that's what you want. He scores goals. That's yeah, pens, well, don't you? Every top player who scores goals scores pens. Yeah. Anna Kane, loads of pens. Alan Shearer, loads of pens. Gary Lineker, loads of pens. Like, you want to score goals, you've got to be a pen taker. It's why Mo Salah scored loads of goals, but could have had even more because he's, he's a dodgy pen taker. Did you see that? That was a terrible oh, no, ball. Lad, just look how open the midfield look is. At look, at, look, at, look at James Garner's positioning, right? Look at James Garner's positioning and then. Look where Cole Palmer is. Like, nobody's marking Cole Palmer. He scored at it after fucking 29 minutes and nobody's near him. That's just, that, he's been given that role there, hasn't he? And, sh and the athlete just haven't got a grip of him. So, look, Palmer's trying to get to Gallagher, who's deeper down. He's got no chance of ever getting there. The minute he pops out and gets there, Palmer's finding the arse uh, space behind him. And no, Everton's back line is petrified of Chelsea's Stepping front out. freeze pace. Yeah, so he's pinned back out. by them. Yeah. It's, like, it's so naive, it's untrue. So naive. Well, so should you, what you what you do there? Then go three, four, three, three, and just have like Any, anything but what the fuck and do. <laughs> yeah. But he, he, and like, you go four, Bailey three. Home, you go last week. Like, like, he didn't play like change. Let's be honest. You're playing, you're playing with a thirty-eight-year-old Ashley Young, right? Then you're playing with McNeil, who's got personal problems and scrapping away. Then you're free in midfield. The core is trying to get with Beto, who's dog shit, to try and fucking link, and then. The two lads in midfield, Onana and Garner, don't have a defensive thought in their heads. And your back four wants to go home because it's petrified of the pace. Yeah, no, it's a terrible combination. You're right. Watch, watch your power here for this half an hour. You've got to, you've got to just got to change it and go, go three in the middle. Just, it's just... very rare before the game. I said to his Palmer, he scored after half the fucking. And I'm an Evertonian. I don't want to be right on it, but like, you can't play against an informed player who's a space invader. In the back, in the in the back side of any midfield, without a defensive midfielder, mm. even if it's a fucking young kid out the academy, someone who's defensive, who's defensive minded, minded, yeah. Like you can't someone just play played... all the good players together. Yeah. You need people who actually play certain positions. 
Because when you play it as a like a, a, a box to box or a, a, a number ten or something, you, you're not all your life and you come in here, you're not going to be able just to sit and watch Cole Palmer. Well, look, the Manchester United's brain. problem now. They give a five year contract to Casemiro, and unless you put someone around him who can run, you're dead. He's dead. No, no, he's because he knows how to play the position. But if you want to press like from like for Everton, he'd be ideal because just sit in the middle of the park. If Man United want to get on the front foot and press, he's not. He's he can't. can't. Yeah, he's done. He's got he just can't. That's why Man United are conceding twenty plus yeah. shots every game. Or trying to get off. Tries to get himself sent off all the time. Cast me up. See the one tackling his Liverpool. He done. He just tried to get sent off. Then lucky he got the ball. That's the, the end Think. of Liverpool season for me. That there this week and and also the second half against Man United. It, it all started because he should have been home and nose out of sight. Yeah, man, and it's missed all the chances. It's, listen, I think what's happened. We've had a load. It looks like we just ran out of steam, and that's uh, it's one now of them when things. When you've got more players back than when you didn't. Well, well, at the minute, we're just getting our players there. back now. Um, Jota coming back is massive, like, but it's two weeks too late. Okay, so I'm yeah, want I'll have a brew, lad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go Josh. Fortune, isn't it? No, it's, it's just with, it's Liverpool's uh, it's run out of steam. Players coming back just a little bit too late for me. So I'm thinking. What about you've been winning games with the youth team pretty much? That's what I'm saying. Won the cup with youth team. That's what I'm saying. Allison's back. Trent's well, back. Well, last game. Two weeks too late. late. Yeah, it two is. Two weeks too late. It is. I agree with Man no you. Now. It is. Honest to God. I agree with no idea. It's, a, it's just a couple of I weeks. I know you're angry because you're watching the Blues get smoked, but just no, take your no. fucking I hate Liverpool hat off for one I, minute. I don't dislike Liverpool hat. Ha- I, I hate Liverpool head. Oh, you can't man. take that off. I don't get involved in that tribal nonsense that you get involved in. <laughs> <Is> you <he> see <laughs> a fan? <laughs> you see a fan that much? He's gone all in and got burnt red on purpose. <laughs> Fair though. Like got Nicky Lada, I was. I, got, I fell asleep in the sun. Oh, did it all bubble? Oh, lad, I got absolutely cremated. Oh, I've done Fell it asleep. myself. I reckon for an hour, an hour tops, and I've just Doesn't matter, yeah. I got it. And now every year, now in the sun, I've got it. I have a t shirt on. Fact of thousand and ten. You look so like a proper Brit abroad. Full fob and all my legs. Just a like, Brit abroad. But only the inside of my legs. <laughs> just, not more like that. <laughs> just fell asleep um, <clears throat> and paid the price. Yeah, well, I had the fucking air the kits for five days in Spain, didn't I? Didn't oh, I was with, terrible last week, away. Didn't move the bedroom. Yeah. Five days I had the air the kits for. I was so, terrible last yeah. week. I'm still, you can hear it on my nose now, I can't, like, I've still bummed up a little bit, it was yeah. absolutely dreadful, like, I mean, even, I was lucky I was away and it was sunny. No, I couldn't even, I just had my missus taking the kids to the beach every day and I was like, yeah. Oh. So, get it's in, good head, head there's 3-1, that's my, r- offside, blow. it's offside. Oh. <laughs> to be fair to him, it's a good head, that. I said nil nil. I don't know what I was thinking. I know, I was know. he offside, have they give offside I just thought everyone would come and pack it in. No, he's offside, oh, look at that, he's a mile yeah, off. he's well off. It's a great header. Why is he offside that much though? Because he's um, stupid. Well, Darwin Beto. It's it, it's a good header to be fair to. Yeah, it was. Good line from Chelsea defensive line. No, they're all in sync there. No matter what, good line. I still think my three one. It's not gonna, as it stands, not gonna I can't in. see. It. I'm, I've got. I'm in now as it stands, but I can't see it finishing this. I think there'll be more goals. Six. Look at Evans press now. Look Chelsea Evan straight over press. the press. Look. That's not a bad Michael matchup. That's f- that's not a bad matchup for Chelsea. And then come and press them. They're in again, look. So they've sucked Where's Everton in to try and press them, and then just go long. There's no tea bag. I'll just leave it on it. Oh God! There was a tea bag on the top, Josh. Only one. Joe's yeah. used one. They just used that from Ayton. So <laughs> I'll have a coffee. Oh, I've got him to get booked. Have you? <laughs> Tell you what. What, what else have you got in your connector? Yeah, right, so I've got a little bet builder on. I am, again, on I am, in my bet builder last week, I had Diamond Nunes be offside three times. Again, <laughs> How many mid, times was he offside? Three. <laughs> three. three. was three. So I've got against that Chelsea yeah, to have the most yeah. corners. Yeah, obvious. Mudrich, any time assist. No. I know. Palmer to score and Ashley Young to be carded for three ton. Keep so I basically need Mudrich to get an assist. Yeah, you do. And I was, I was looking at it thinking, go on then. Go on then. He looks like a camel falling over. He's better when he just has, doesn't have to think about it. He's well, best running onto it, just like not there. He hasn't got it. He's just got to go. I've Anytime got to get he there. Has to think about it, he's and I've got to hit. I've got to hit it now. And again, it's not for lack of work, right? He grafts his bollocks off. To be fair, it's just lack of road. ability. <laughs> just a, a severe lack of confidence and ability. Like any striker, you have to hit the ground running at a club, don't you? You have to like they're a weird, they're a weird breed. Like the like Haaland, you would say he's not like the fucking greatest technician to watch, but. Start scoring and then never look back. So ha, he's just a goal. Then. That's that's a lot of nonsense about Haaland. I think uh, that he's not. Haaland's a goal machine. What more do you want than a player to be the league goal scorer in the Premier League in your team? Well, I, I, 
it, there's no argument against that. You can't. Oh, he doesn't play. He doesn't drop in. So fucking. <laughs> he's scoring. Yeah. He's scoring goals in the Premier League and with Man City. I think the feet. point is though, he doesn't make City better. So, he scores goals. If Harry Kane was in, if Harry Kane was in that team. They'd be well better than they oh, are with Harlan. No, he's not having that. He doesn't fucking play with the ball. Harry Kane has just gone does to Germany. Doesn't need to. Uh, a team that but Kingsley he's, Coleman he's a better player has than only Harlan. ever won league titles until uh, he fucking started oh, yeah. playing with Harry Kane. Don't shoot so from there. So what are you on about, Harry oh. Kane? If Harry Kane goes to Man City, they won't win the league they'll, based on what they'll be sixth. Bayern no. haven't won a trophy this year after being trophy laden for the last decade. Harlan three to one, Kane. three to one. Young was to get booked. Jez. Harlan doesn't need to link up. He was like twelve to five. Yeah, just said on Paddy Power. Harry Kane would make City better than, than Harlan. He would. Harlan. The way City play, he would. Josh, come on. No, not the way City play. No. It's not just a game with Joe. What it's did he not. Score? 50 I, goals Alvarez last year. is the other player where they've got who can drop in and do that when they need to. No, I'll get up. Alvarez has got if so if you've got two players you can either if, you, if you're losing a bit of midfield you can bring one a player in and take one out but if you're dominating the games which they do for 90% of the games Harlan plays and scores he was quite he has been quiet in certain games but last year he right. got the I'm putting the ball out fair season in the Prem in terms of a big money signing coming from the Bundesliga which is obviously not as strong as the Premier League and hitting the ground running like he did he was a fucking phenomenon last year it was always going to be hard to back that up again yeah, it was. He's still, still going to have a 30 plus goal for the season. Coffee? That's why I think, yeah, it is one. What's what he got to that. this point, Ireland, all competitions? 20, is it? Is it 20? All competitions? I, He'll have, have 30 look. goals. He won't be sure to What's 30 goals. What's he got? All, all comps now, we'll have a look, Ireland. Champions League, he must be 30 think. goals. Do you reckon? Yeah. He'll have played 50 odd games. What, this year or last year? All comps this year. Harland this year. How many in all comps this year? Last year he was a fun, like, phenomenal goal return. Nearly won a game. Last so year. 31 in 38. That's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> this season. Harry Kane's got ridiculous. more. Harry Kane's got oh, right, more. Hang on a minute. Right, hang on a minute. <laughs> Harry Kane. What, what did he have the year before? Oh, <sighs> we all know that's a joke. 48 and 50 is what was cheaper than that, yeah. He broke 50 last year. Did he? Sure he did in all comps. 52 and 53. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. Back no, to back, he's banged in more, he more for 30 goals. By the way, the season hasn't finished I know, yet. Just, the, 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 the season hasn't finished yet. So yeah, Harry Kane, would you Harry agree, Kane though? scores goals, but the teams he plays in don't who's win a better, titles. Who's a better footballer? Uh, as a fo- answer, the question, as, answer the question. Answer the question. Harry Kane's a better footballer. Who would footballer? I have in my team? I'd have Haaland, but Harry question. Kane's a better footballer. Who would I have as my number nine? Who's a better footballer? Who would I have as my number nine? That's a different question. Me, yeah? well, different question. Ask, who's asking a better footballer? Who's a better footballer? And doing what, like, skills and give-ups? just give answer the question. But, but in terms of who would have won in my team, who I would want Erling Haaland yeah. in the team before I would want Harry Kane. If it was a keep-up competition or a, a technical competition for, like, training, you'd probably want to build via Harry Kane because he's a bit cleaner on the build-up. But if it was a fucking picking someone to be your number nine for the season to get you over the fucking... Get you to win your league. It'd be <sighs> fucking Erling Haaland every single day of the week. Nunez Beto was just fucking How many goals one. has Erling Haaland got in his career compared to Harry Kane? Right, get on that pole. Uh, Erling Haaland will score more goals in his career right. than Harry Kane There's by the time one. they both Last minute pen for you. Last minute pen. Harry Kane. Oh, Who do you want Harry Kane? Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Or, or Haaland. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Oh, yeah. Oh, That's not a question, that one. What's this for the miss? Haaland will score last, more. Last minute penalty. Who would you want on it? Mary Herbs or Beto? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this lad. Oh, lad, this can't he's, blame him there. No, he got a touch on it. The defender got a touch on it. Sco- I thought he did. The defender got a touch on it. Um, you see that Someone Mary, in the chat said Kane at City had scored yeah. 60 goals, and I no. agree. He would. He, well, he, he he's a better finisher than Haaland. Haaland misses it. Haaland's missed a few. Yeah, but Haaland's more mobile, Haaland. Haaland's quicker and stronger than him. Doesn't matter. Kane's When was the last time you seen Harry Kane run away from him? Harry Kane will never pull his armstring. When was the last time you seen Harry Kane run away from a defender? Like, literally sprint past the defender? Doesn't need to. But with City, where they've got Folder and they've got, uh, they've got Silver, they've got, they've got the creativeness behind how Haaland. How many goals and games has Erling Haaland got? And how many goals and games has Harry Kane got? To this point. This season? No, in the careers. Oh. Are we Haaland because he's, he smashed it at no, Dortmund? No. But yeah, and Kane's had about 15, 15 more seasons than him. Kane's 30, no, aren't he? 30 goals more. per game, if you're talking about goals per no, game no, ratio. Let, let's see how many goals they've both got, because I didn't think... I thought if Harry Kane stayed, he'd have broke Shearer's goal-scoring record in the Premier League, but he's obviously gone to Bayern Munich. He still could come back and do it. Oh, yeah. But I think if Haaland stays at City for the fucking next 10 years, he'll smash it. 
Haaland we'll won't stay at City, don't really. Well, why not? I think like, you, I think if Pep's there for the next three years, why wouldn't Haaland stay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I think, agree with Pep. You, I think while Pep's there three or four years, I think why? while Pep's there, why? I think that's just what he does. Madrid, go to Spain. You go to Madrid. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm saying Mbappe's going to be plotted up in Spain. Mbappe on the left. Haaland up front. What about Rodrigo and fucking Rodrigo and then Hendrik? They signed Hendrik as well. How good is that, Rodrigo? Though Rodrigo, Vinicius Junior's better. So you got Vinicius Junior and Mbappe, Endrick. Rodrigo, Hendrik they just signed. You got Tuchemani, oh, Bellingham, like and obviously um, Valverde. Gonna... Like that's ridiculous. Where, where's where's uh, where's where's Ireland going to play? Like he's not going to. I, I can't see um, I can't see Haaland leaving the Premier League. Me, no, like, I can't. He's, yeah, he's custom built to it. <laughs> no, I agree. He's custom. It's it's his game, pace, and power. But I mean, I still think he he'd score. So many more goals in, in Spain because of course you would because it's easier, yeah. You know, the, the, it's an easier league. Come on, that was a bad pass week to week. Good that's enough. a nice pass, that's a great ball. Oh. That's a that's a oh, at least he's he near the target. And I'm out with the target from there. He's near the target. I actually thought he was going to spaloon that, I absolutely like shanked that for a corner or something. He looks just, he's probably just, just off offside, well. yeah. Good defender from Gusto to be fair, just to get body on it. I don't make that Gusto, me only a kid, 22. No, I think the 4 0 down here, someone's just fucking spoiled, didn't he? Uh... No spoilers. Unless it's Mudrick Assist. Is it a Mudrick Assist? Ah, was running the show. I hope it's a Mudrick Assist. Garner, where's Garner doing? See, he's on the wrong Go side. Garner. Garner should it's be that side. Him. Have you got assist side. or goal now, or just assist? Just assist. It's Cook nah, it's it's right assist. That's offside anyway. Don't. Pickford. Little arm, Pickford. It's a good finish. Is it offside? No. Hopefully. It's a good finish, that. Could um could this get really messy for Everton? This had told said six before. Like they might fucking pot dice messy. No, I don't think they can afford to pot dice at the minute. They can't afford to pot dice before the last. If they carry on like on this form, they're gonna get fucking relegated. They'll pot dice on the first of July. They won't get relegated. But I'm saying on current form, Campo, they've just won one game in 13, and now they're four 0 down in 45 minutes against the team who's not in great form. Well, the free flowing and haven't created. An, an awful, side, an though. awful lot, I think, really. You know, we've had a couple of snapshots. Beto, who I think was offside for that one, he's, he's shanked. Great finish. Great touch, yeah, you know, to touch. bring it down like that. You can't get two touches in the boxes like that. Look, to be fair, Coleman doesn't that's do anything. A, no, that's great. Oh, the poking goes in. I don't think you can do much about that. You know, watch the touch and the posting in there. Mm. No, his arms are too small. <laughs> get too, like Gusto. Like the corner oh. got a touch in the box. Wait, like, why is no one getting the body on it? Where's the body? That touch is fantastic. It is, isn't it? He didn't even need to break stride with the sh with, with, with when he spun on it. What's that all about, though? Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> is, does, that take him level? does that take him level with Mo Salah? Him and Jackson and Mo Salah have got to buy the same amount of goals. More from play now. Do you know that? I know. Come out on me before. So they're all no, he's on Jackson. No goals, big goals per minute. Does it, does it on the accept same. it was a non penalty goals and give Mo Salah that much money? Do you know what yeah. I'm really looking forward to as an Evertonian? The end, the end of the season? No. <laughs> yeah, that, that as well. Well, I don't know. It depends. If we got fucking relegated, but Delhi Ali analysis at half time. But he's oh. sad to be dead positive there, doesn't he? So I don't know what he's going to say. Imagine he just comes out <laughs> and just doubles back. What are you saying? You're watching Dyke. your team getting beat 4 0 and you're live on the telly. Why, why would you go on it? Well, what would you no, say? Weird. What would you say if you were Dali Ali? What can you say? You're going to go back in the dressing room tomorrow or the next day with them. So you can't, you can't kill them. Everything. You can't kill them, no. So, you, so you, you you're just actually got massively tapered in terms of what you can and So why, why is he going on here tonight? So my thing is... Great ball. That's, that's great a great ball. ball my thing is, as a player, you, 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 even if you know what's going on, you can't say it. Because you've got to go back in the dressing room. Yeah, this no, you're right, them. you can't. <laughs> it's and you already much, feel like an imposter because you get picking up a salary and you're not fucking playing a minute for the team. Well, it's got to be one of the worst signings in Everton's history, Deli Alley. We'll be up there and for me. Like, pay for him. Well, the fact yeah. that we're still paying for him now. Yeah, and we've had wages. some bad ones. Listen, like he can't even play. We've had some bad ones, and you, yeah, you, you probably can't argue with that. And and they wonder why they're fucked financially because of stupid fucking decisions like that where you sign someone because you didn't realise you did your full quota of loans when they took Iwan Al Ghazi or whatever off Aston Villa. Yeah. And like how that gets signed off by a club. How, how someone signs that off? Incompetence at the top. Well, and, and the thing for me is also how they haven't done the due diligence. How do you know his fucking brain cells are frazzled? Well, the if you want to make a commitment for the pay, well, paying hundred plus grand a week and twenty odd million or whatever it was to bring him in, surely you do a few fucking ring and round. They say, listen, he's fucked on the sleeping tablets. He's fucked on the extracurricular fucking extra activities. Don't touch him with a fucking barge pole. 
someone's had them off a bit there. I feel a bit sorry for Dalli because I think he's had a bit of problems as I well. I think we should be able to t- get Frank Lampard outside good to the end of the season and just throw fucking rotten tomatoes. <laughs> put, him in, put him in stocks by the fucking Dixie Dean statue and just get a load of rotten fruit and veg and just fucking ping him with it. That's a fucking ridiculous decision. Yeah, Evans, that two years later, Evans still fixes, you've got him. to be followed at home. But lad, you play like this, we were lucky to be bit like ten men with uh, Burnley with ten men at home. I know. Week. I know. So yeah, but weird things happen. The Derby said the Derby. before. The Joe Double said Darby's before. Sheffield the United the got, will have no pressure on them. <laughs> Massive game for Forest. Forest are the best Luton. team than us. But if you get beat by Forest, you get beat by Luton, and you don't beat nothing. Uh, you don't, don't beat Sheffield United. Don't deserve to stay in the division for me. Mm. Like. If Everton can't beat them three, even though the points, because we'd be on 35 points today. So if you can't get 40 plus points, so if Everton can't get another six points, then I, I don't think we can have a fucking legitimate. Yeah. Like, we, we shouldn't have fucking made some of Like, Deli Alley, the part of the 20 million out, weren't they on the FFP? Well, there's Deli Alley. That's that, that that's his way. Yeah. It's probably fucked the job up. His wangers. I and think now he's on the... MF. What's he, what's he going to say at our time here? Someone put a good point there. Uh, Roy Keane done it when he was playing for Man United for MU, MUTV. Keane did on the last time. He did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he shipped him out to Celtic, yeah. yeah. Because he told the truth. Yeah. Then he won't say fuck all, yeah? No. What can he say? Have another corner. What can he say? Yeah. And he should, he should. Oh, these corners he should because the way he played, the way he played, for what? Deli Ali was exactly he's how Colin Palmer was playing in that yeah. kind of... Two, two. Yeah, he was. He was, 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 was that good as well. He was brilliant. Garner could commit two fouls. Tarkowski could to, to commit two fouls. McNeil to commit two fouls. Does he tell you how many there are? Surely Evan are going to start getting stuck in second half. They're going to get bollocked at half time. They can't be any worse than this. They're going to get stuck in at half time. He's going to make a couple of changes because you're 4-0 down at half time. You're going you're gonna to do something. Or he oh, might give them 15 yeah, minutes. Evan, Evan have got to come out and have a goal. But who are your changes? Who are you bringing on? Jack Harrison for the, Ashley the, Young? The bench was poor like Evan's bench. Do you know what I mean? Who are you Man. bringing on? Andre Gomez. Well, bring Dan Gima on front. I don't know. Just, or somewhere just to get a bit of pace. Just to go at Silver. Think you're Dan Juma and you're watching Jack Harrison. Go at Silver. Think you're Dan Juma and you're watching Jack Harrison who was dreadful when I seen Everton live against West Ham. Um, you're watching 38 year old is he? Ashley Young 38? Yeah. And you're watching McNeil, who's been running on. F- I think he's done all right, McNeil. Fumes. Yeah, he has, but he's lacked loads of quality in the last few weeks. Yeah, he's been up. To, he's had. The, and had obviously, yeah, he's had there's off the field yeah. stuff going on, but also he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't really shown. Um, and you're Dan Juma sitting there. You're thinking, fucking hell, this fella just doesn't fancy me at all. If you, you he's got these crabs playing in front of me, so he's obviously going to be lower than the snake's belly at the minute. <laughs> Everton don't have a fucking a defensive minded midfielder, in there. Oh, you need to put Christ, one in, bad, otherwise man. they're going to get spanked. But for us. I um, hate to say it, but I fucking told you so. If you, if you don't play with a defensive midfielder and you've got an informed fucking floating number 10 like that, you're fucked. Someone's got to take accountability for it. I can't believe I said no, no. Time, I, I don't know what he can do. Get me the, uh, let's have a look at the subs. Show me, tell me the bench. Let's see what he can do. We've got Gomez, Godfrey, Dan Juma. What, p- people who can actually make a difference? Or just, what, you want them all? Harrison. Harrison I wouldn't put on. I think it's dreadful. Young Patterson. Why doesn't he get a sniff over Coleman? Because he had a ding dong with him, I think, in Portugal, didn't he slap him? Or something went on. I think it was nonsense, but. Who slapped him? Daishi and um, Patterson? Patterson had a bit of a ding dong, yeah, in Portugal, oh, yeah. in the papers. I don't know what, I think it was just fucking handbags, but. Chimity? Chimity, <laughs> another 19 million on what? Potential? Garbage. I've had a bet there. I reckon I'm going to cash out because I reckon he'll make changes. Go on. I need McNeil to get another foul. The other. The other Two or out of the entire Kowski and Garner. Do you think he'll keep him out there? out there? But his size. And then I need five more Chelsea corners. Seven no, Don't cash out. They wouldn't give you the cash out if it was worthwhile. Ride. Ride or die. I know, but I've been having a stinker on these connectors with fucking managers making subs. Ranger. And just wipe your bet then. So what you need, McNeil, to get? One wow. more, to commit one more foul, which is... And five more corners. Yeah, Chelsea corners. You're well in there. You won't take McNeil off, I can't see you. All the problems have come down the right hand side, Ashley Young and Coleman's side, that's where them two crosses have come in. Young's been booked. My fear is that he, 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 he could easily make five. He usually bring here. Harrison on for Young, I would imagine, or it, I think he'll go Harrison before Dan Juma, because Harrison's been knocked in. Play. I think this is built for Dan Juma, this game now. 
Well, well you're bringing on another yeah. luxury player when you're already getting overrun in midfield. better off. You get beat 7 0, you get sacked then Monday, you get sacked Tuesday. I, I think you get, get that, you run that to your That's your argument. That's limitation here. Dice is trying to keep hold of his job here. Yeah, okay. Because yeah. you get beat 6 or 7, yeah, the fans yeah. go, let's get rid of this cunt now. I'm telling you, that's how quick it happens. You can't guess not. Yeah, Fair enough if it's Man City, even then there'd be, there'd be question marks asked. And off the back of the run they've been on, there's a lot of Everton fans who are absolutely gunning for him. Don't want him. Who's, who'd you get in? Well, I, I don't know, but, it, but I cleared the run they're on. Fucking anybody's better. Because they're shite at the minute. Yeah. 14 games and you've won one, and that was against Burnley, who had a man sent off, and the keeper kicked it out against yeah. the attacker. Come on. Like, whatever. Lee Carsley, a good shout for Everton. Wouldn't be the worst shout. Knows the club, plays knows, for it. Knows the club, wants to like the club, and done very well. But you're in the Lampard way. realms of fantasy because he hasn't managed, he's managed England under 21s. You're fucking hell. I know, but he's, uh, what I'm saying, it's a shit. Can't be that. A, like England under 21s. Every is skinny. Oh, no, that's one of the easiest gigs in the world, isn't it? Fucking Southgate got that before he took the fucking England job, didn't he? Mm, I think is that, is that, That's probably the easiest job in the world, I would imagine, England under 21s. Because the, the overspill of quality players that you've got every selection yeah. is ridiculous. Mm. Like the French under 21s as well. French under 21s maybe is up there as well. Yeah. But, but two, I would imagine two at the top. I would imagine if you term, terms of you want a high win percentage there, you're two easiest jobs out there. Yeah. Then does that transmit well Stuart Pierce was England under twenty ones manager and look how that fucking played out. But he didn't he didn't have that he didn't have the the, the luxury of what the couldn't crop off. Well he still had a, a very pumped up group because England under twenty ones are always heavy. They're always heavy. Palmer's hat trick a perfect hat trick there as well. Left, left right, right head. Um yeah, do you want to touch on the weekends? Games a little bit, Liverpool, Arsenal. No. no. Shit the bed, didn't he? Who, Liverpool or Arsenal? That's it, City Liverpool home, shit home the bed now. More than, um... Yeah, I think it's... it's, it's, it's a couple it's... of twists. I can't see it. Have you seen City's running? They're not going to lose. They've, still, they've got a Champions League game Tuesday. It doesn't matter. Then they've like got games. Brighton. You should only in the Europa League. You're out of that this week. Yeah. Or next week. You're a out. Co- you City are still going Never count the pool. Arsenal that. still in. A couple of City fans are asking us to do the watch along for that Real Madrid game. The home game. Yeah, yeah. game, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 What date's that? It's a Tuesday. I think it'll be a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Maybe next week. No, it'll be next week. No, shit. Week after. Week after. It's week after us, isn't it? So this this week's at at we live the year open in it. You play back to back, do you? Yeah. So and then the city might go the week city after. The week I don't after. know. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's on Wednesday. City this is Wednesday coming. This Wednesday. Well, we're, we're doing a podcast anyway. <laughs> it's this Wednesday, the seventeenth. Yeah, we're doing a podcast okay. anyway, so I'm game for doing it. Be a good game that because it's finally poised in it, free free. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm game for that. I I think City will do it there. I think City will. I think Get any ex City players down? Do you reckon? We can speak, can't we? See, I had a few lines in. Sean Wright Phillips I spoke to. He said, I'll have to speak to my me, me manager because I think everybody, Trevor, Trevor Sinclair as well, left me on like hold. Just yeah. everyone's shit scared, aren't they? Does that like, especially if you've got any like media position to speak to us because fear of being fucking cancelled? It's like, the, it's like the thing with Spotify where they finally opened up to us because they realise, you know, yeah. what we're using Twitter for and what we're actually using on the podcast for is different. Let's listen to what, listen uh, to Belly, yeah. let's listen to what he's got to say. Right, if he just scored this though, it, it, I think it, it'd only be 4 1. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Oh. I want to see that back, but he can't miss that. Is, is he not offside? He's not offside, no, is he? Not no, he's not offside. Look, he's behind it there. He's got a fizzit, Annie. Oh, he's to get him past Thiago like... Silva. He's got, he's got he, a fizzit he, as hard as he has. Listen, he goes towards the ball. He's actually just got to pull away and let it let hit him. him. Yeah. That. He's got, it, it just let the ball hit him. He'd have been better head, Nick, because his fucking head's better than his feet, to be honest. Watch this, though. Watch how wrong Garner gets this. So no, Evan are trying to press here, right? Right, there's Garner. Goes off his feet, misses it. Right, see there? Yeah, you can't do that, there. Now, look at Onana. He's oh, too nah, far across. Young, yeah. not, he's, he's not got back in, look. Palmer's in the backside of him. Meg's him. Look, look, look at Garner. Look at Garner. Watch ball watching. Look at Garner. Yeah. The ball watching. No, no, Garner's. This is Garner goes off his feet, sells the midfield out. Onana has to come over. Nobody else gets back in. Ashley Young should get back into the central corridor, seal the pocket. Then Garner gets back in and just pussy foot around him. This is Garner again. Watch. Shoots out here to 25. Say say though. Gets done on the inside. Now he's compromised. Onana's across. Look at Cole Palmer. Look at Garner. He never once fucking locks onto him. Free goal. 
because he hasn't got a defensive fucking bone but in his that's, body. But that's great. We're from Palmer still but there. Look at look Garner. He doesn't even look at Cole Palmer. No, he's got he's, what he's ball watching. Yeah, so who scores is. fucking who scores goals? Space or men? Yeah. So straight away, once you're wrong side and you've sold your wicket and you've got on the outside and Saicedo gets inside you as a fucking Premier League midfielder, your next four should be get back inside and protect your goal. Get back goal side and get back inside. And not for one fucking second does, does, does James Garner see that. And no way, because he's not a defensive midfielder. Yeah, he's not. He's a typical academy product who are very tight and got a lovely technique, but haven't got a fucking clue how to play the position. Technically really good players, but tactically naive as fuck. Naive like you wouldn't believe. Um, watch Man City, they play from position, they play from, from a tactical position all the time. Everton, midfield, are all over the gap, there's no protection for the back four. When Everton were doing really, really well under Sean Dyche, Everton were keeping clean sheets. Everton don't look like they can fucking keep a clean so sheet. So can Everton, or, or can Everton got, got away with keeping one at Burnley because Burnley went down to ten. OK, Everton stay up. I think you've got to how, get rid of how do they, how do they improve? I th- well, the, the, the thing is, because the FFP, they're going to be raided. So, any half decent player you've got, Bram, Bram Fweiss, it's going to go. It's going to go. So, then who's your centre half? Michael, you're back to Michael Keane now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, the big problem for Everton, the big, big problem for Everton is, like, you're going to be in the same situation next year. And the other big problem for Everton you've got is. Shit ownership. It's, yeah. It's confused and it's, you can't spend. Because the Everton's big problem is the wages. They need to get the wages down. They can't improve by doing that. But again, when you've got Deli Ali fucking doing Monday Night Football and he's been paid for a full year and you can't get rid of him because he's down the mental health route now and he hasn't fucking played a game for you, what's Deli Ali on? He must be on north of 100 grand a week at Everton. But he must have asked there, can I go on this tonight, obviously? Look, I've been asked to do the studio and someone said, yeah, you can't. Out of the club, yeah. This, so. You so have to, you... Yeah, go on there, make a fucking show of us even more. But what is it? Are they trying to put him in the shop window or are they trying to get him to retire to maybe go on m to get his wages? I don't know. But it doesn't look like he's going to play another game for Everton based on the clause allegedly yeah, he, that's yeah, in, 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 yeah. In, in, that Everton are activating if they play him. Plus also, it looks like his circuit boards are frazzled. Because if you'd been missing footy and you had your life all up, up the pole like he has... As soon as you were fit and re- ready to play, if you wanted to play, yeah. you'd be thinking, I'm fucking 28 here. What is he now? 28, 29? No, now he's on MNF, just, just finger up his ass, just I, I, cruising. Do you, know, do you know what I mean? I'm like, is, is, is he give up? Mm. Well, he, he's going he's gonna to struggle anyway, because you go back in. You go back in. You're gonna, what, what are fans going to sing at you? I gonna think he's a cheeky, of madness cheeky bastard for just sitting there, throwing a mental health card in and taking the piss out of Everton Football Club. That's what I think. But yeah, again, his Ever- career's gone away from him, hasn't it? So he, he obviously he's, he's self sabotage. So, but but again now you you know with the PC and the HR, you know you can't you you know you've got to you've got to feel sorry for people who fucking absolutely <laughs> fucked their lives up. Like you've got to take sympathy towards them. You can't say, listen, you stupid coming up, ain't you? Well, what, are, what about the fucking millions of Everton fans who, who, who are suffering fucking mental health on the downfall of it? You're not contractually protected. Yeah, I know. Um, it's, it, it, he has done that for a reason. He's played so they can't cancel him his contract and stuff. But uh, you know, for you, me, I, it's the people who done the deal. How you've done? Yeah. How you've not done your due diligence when you're making an asset, uh, an, an acquisition of an asset that's going to cost you, let's say, twenty million up front, and then maybe another ten million over the duration of the contract, and you haven't had a private investigator, or not even a private investigator. Let's, let's be honest. Everyone in, in football knew there was a fucking severe problem with him in terms of his lifestyle. You know, obviously, he revealed a few things from his history, but obviously, he's played good football with that on the table. So that hasn't been yeah. causation of, you know, his career folding. It's obviously the stuff he's tapped on since he become a superstar. Mm. You know, the fact that they were running this week, um, a special guest on Monday Night Football, Delhi. His name's fucking Delhi Ali, not Pele, not fucking a Brazilian. Yeah. Delhi. Oh, he's took a second name off. changed his name on the back of his top to Delhi. I'm like, you, you, it's part of the fucking the sycophantic fucking feel sorry for me victim nature. It, it happened to me the other day. That fucking Rob Palmer. Someone had tweeted to me, and you clip this up now, or someone to use the tweet. Uh, someone had tweeted to me um, something about me not being good enough, stop being angry towards women, or something like the tweets there. I wouldn't get in the lionesses. So this was the. They were all calling me a bully. When you call me a bully, I decide to like act up to being a bully, saying I'm gonna flush your head down the toilet and all that. <laughs> Because I'm like, I'm going to be whatever you want me to be, if that's the case. Because if words hurt you, you're feeble-minded and you're very, very vulnerable for me to... Yeah, you're feeding it. the fire there, doing that. <laughs> so I'm the person who's low on empathy and even lower when you try to yeah, make me feel sorry for you and if it's not justified. 
So yeah. obviously the bully thing came about on the Monday. That led me into, I think, getting after that lad uh, for his appearance and obviously his, his audacity to comment on football with um, not only the size of the fucking BMI on him, but also <laughs> the big swollen tongue where he couldn't speak properly without needing a fucking mop. If he says sizzling sausages, you need to get the mop bucket out. Um, so it was um, it was a, 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 an issue then that comes the back end of the week in terms of, you know, what you can and can't say. And um, this lad said something ridiculous about my football ability, so I called him a spastic, because I thought there's no other word. Like, bear in mind, our teacher in school, Mr Lally, used to go, hey, spaz, oh, hey, spaz, bar, you spaz. Yeah. He used to just call everyone a spaz, and it was just, like, accepted. Like, spaz doesn't mean I hate every disabled person and think they're a piece of shit. It's just a phrase. It's it's something that you say, stop being a fucking spaz, will you? Stop being a divvy or... Yeah, it's more of a, it's all a scout sudden, phrase, isn't it? I think, it is and it isn't. Like, I think I've never people, outside people of the pool. Whatever, because people have done that with words. Now, there's certain words you can and can't say. There's, like, really loads of offence on words that aren't that offensive. Yeah. And there's no offence on, on words, words that, that are, are offensive. Yeah, I get that, but there's um, more of a scout thing And the world we live all. in now, everyone's just waiting to be outraged. So, mm. anyway, I, I, bear in mind, I reply to somebody's tweet, basically calling them a spastic, are you, are you that much of a spastic that you actually believe that? Or something like that. No one will pull the sweets out and then I think I called him a window licker. But I, was pay, <laughs> I was purposely Fucking doing hell. it to take it as close to the bone so we could to see, right? So you'll get actually, let's see, let's see what this flushes out. Lo and behold, next day, here he, he is, Rob fishing. Palmer, who's the old ITV guy. And I know Rob briefly, he's interviewed me for a few things, but um, years and years ago when I played, anyway, comes on. My son is a fucking spastic or something like that, and he can read fucking Spanish and he can read Catalan and he can speak English better than us. And I felt like tweeting back to say, Well, he's not fucking that much of a spastic. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, You can't say that. But anyway, he was bragging about how smart he was and all that. And it turns out he's got CP, cerebral palsy, but it used to be called, it's called spastic CP. No, I didn't fucking know. I'm just saying, You fucking spaz. It's, yeah. What are you doing? You fuck, stop being a fucking spastic. Yeah, yeah. Not like, again, I'm not picking out everybody who's got a disability. So anyway, it all opens up. So I end up clicking on it. Rob Palmer follows me. I don't follow him. So I thought, you got on your phone this morning. I've replied to somebody, so it's not a tweet I've put out. So you've actually... You, I'm one of a thousand followers that you... One of a thousand people you follow. I don't follow you. So you've come on. You've turned your phone on. You've turned the app on. Then you've filtered through and seen that reply I've made to somebody. And then you've got outraged. Then what he did is he tapped the son in. So the son now gets tapped in, who's working in the media. Ellis Palmer who says, I used to really admire you and look up to you and start putting a soft soap on me. So I thought, oh, well, that's interesting because you must follow me then. Click on, he doesn't even follow me. So it was a coordinated feel sorry for us attack. And it, what it made me do is made me double down. And only that I was taking a three-day sabbatical. I had to fucking lit them up. I had to fucking lit the pair of them up for being victims and playing the victim card. And then as it is, your emotion settles down. Evan have made the change here, Patterson. Your emotion settles down. You think, you fucking farts. You fucking crying bastards looking for sympathy. Oh, Go feel ahead. sorry for me, but I do speak Catalonian and fucking all these mad languages, and yeah, well done. But, but fuck off, you fucking stupid swat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then what happens is, I, 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 I then click on all the people who were having a go at me, saying way more outrageous things to me about ma me as a person than any of the, the spastic or window little line, like saying derogatory things. I've sent Noah a load of tweets over, so I read through a load of tweets, and you can almost ad-lib, work them out. Jeremy Corbyn, ex Corbyn fans, Ukraine in the bio, like, like, still think vaccinations were a really positive thing and uh, stop the like, like you literally go through them. So I took snapshots of them. One was an inf, in, like a, a massive Palestine fucking fan, like, like just, just you could almost script the people who were gonna gonna take outrage to what you said, and obviously simping and Rob and all that. Then I looked on and I thought, if you're Rob Palmer and you're Ellis Palmer, and no one really knows who you are except your close circle. And you get between, I think Rob Palmer was on, and I've, I've put it on there, so you'll have to see the views. I think it's between 3,000 and 8,000 views. And then all of a sudden, he has a feel sorry for me moment with Joey Barton by saying, my son's a spastic, blah, dear Joey. Um, and then he gets 1.8 million views. You're now encouraging Rob to be even more of a fucking victim, even more, because he's actually irrelevant until he decides to play the sympathy card. Then he gets all the simps and the sympathy vote, and then he goes, oh, yeah, now I'm, not, now I'm relevant again. And he shouldn't, he should be called out by someone saying to him, shut the fuck up, it's not like I've come to your house, knocked on your door, and fucking yeah. started calling your son a spastic in, through the letterbox or shouting over the garden fence to him. <laughs> I've said something online as a comment to somebody, which can only be um, contextual based on what he'd said to me. And it was on, the, the words he said to me could only have been said, sped, said by someone who I would consider to be a fucking spastic. But that's what it is. It's, right? it's, it's people, it's 
a scouse. I think you said personally that it's a scouse thing where I don't hear it outside of Liverpool, and it's it's just it's not meant to be. People outside find a lot more offensive than no, no, it's what, not just this. Uh, what, what we who gives you the fucking why, right? Why is he who gives you the building? right to purvey what be- words are offensive and what not without people context? like to be offended. Of course they do, so and that's actually the metric fits them because it says you are absolutely obsolete until you take offence to it. And then it allows people who don't like somebody to try and pile on because it's just this constant sequence of pile on after pile on. It's like the yeah. it's like the clip when Sky Sports put the cup final on Hearts Rangers women, and then the goalkeeper goes walkabouts for the goal, right? Then I put, what the fuck's the keeper doing here? What's the keeper doing here? And then a dad offers me out the next day, and everyone's glorifying it. And then I'm bullying a 17 year old girl. I'm like. I didn't even actually mention it. I just said, what's the keeper doing? And then a dad's offering me out by saying he's a world champion kickboxer and you're all jumping on that. And then I'm bullying a fucking girl. I'm like, are you for fucking real, you people? Like, th- this is how crazy the world's got. Yeah. So anyway, Rob, fuck you. And fuck your fucking victim playing thing, you fucking stupid bastard. There we Don't go. ever make me try to feel sorry for you again. Fucking pathetic human beings. Can your son speak when... German? No. Who cares? <laughs> like, well, like, well, it, 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 it had nothing to do with you. Nosing, that, it had yeah. nothing to do with you. People like being offended. People like being. You want a load of people to say, "Oh, they I'm like, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry." They like being offended because then they can build on it. No, they, they, they get attention. This, this yeah, it's it is. It is. It's about attention. Now the thing is that that should be met with brimstone, fire straight back. Like, and luckily for him, I was having a self sabbatical. Otherwise, I'd have got after both of them, and then I thought, you cheeky bastard, your son's saying he used to admire me, but doesn't even, f- like, so what are you oh, on about? No, get up, Beto. This is Beto to a T, lad, he's a disgrace. So Evan have made a change, Two. actually, young off. Three changes. Who's come on? Young That's the young on. still on. Both of the centimetres have been ragged. Uh, Unsworth has come on left Palmer, back. Uh, Onana, Onana and Garner. I did say to you that was ragged. a huge problem, but I think that was the way they were set up, so it's, you know, you set, they were set up to fail. So what 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 have you gone here? Have they gone Gomez for, and Ona uh, a little three? bit more experience in there. Like Harrison on in the ten. Yeah. So it's a f- they've matched them up. They've gone four two three one by the look of it. Oh, they were four two three one. But they? the problem they've got is look, Mudrick's inside and Palmer's inside. So Chelsea are four on four on the back line with width. That's that's Damn now it. without Damn the ball as well, with, with, the, with the ball at the back as well. Where did they go? I don't know why Evan was trying to press. Let's be honest. Why are Evan trying to press early on in the game? Go to Stamford Bridge away, fucking sit, get the crowd against them first 20 and slowly try and turn the screw on them. They were 3-0 down after 28 minutes. Evan have tried to press Chelsea at home. Why? This is one here. If Mudrick's now gone more central, he's not great. But how do, you press? how do you press with no defensive midfielder? Because your midfielders set your press. Like yeah. Everyone thinks if the midfield get out of distance and get out of young, you cannot press the ball. And as, as defensive minded players, you'll know so, when to press and when not to press. But who's your two midfielders? It's... Onana and Garner. They, they can't set a press if the fucking lives depended on it. They both want to be on the ball and they both want to be trying to get involved in the attacking phase of it. But Tarkowski saying... and Bramfoy. Bramfoy's a kid. Tarkowski's going to want to go on because of the pace on Chelsea's front line, which opens up all the pockets in the half space, which Cole Palmer's fucking made. But ask this again, Mudrick, yeah. He's lost the ball there. Eh? Oh, finally, a bit of quality. Because. Mudrick doesn't like. He's, I don't know why he's done this. He's playing this back to goal now. I think, you, I think Chelsea. You, Chelsea have. Um, if you get on Mudrick, yeah. Chelsea have, have tried again. to steal a player off Arsenal there, and have ended up with fucking egg on the faces, haven't he? Because he's not. He's not hundred million pound player. Oh, Mudrick. Oh, no, he's not. No way near. When you watch a clips of him at Shakhtar, he's like a white lad. Like, when man. you see a white lad run that quick, very rare you see a white lad smoking black lads. On, on a foot race. Yeah. That's yeah. when you know the quick. That's how you knew Vardy was fucking electric when he started running away from See the, pace the black of, yeah. defenders. Goal. No. Pace out of that. What's his name though for Spurs? Mickey van der... What's his name? Yeah, but until the weekend they were all giving it the beans, weren't they? And then I, I think he's had a... Yeah, I watched that weekend. game. He had a stinker like... He's a big galloper like, isn't he? He's oh, a big he's got the legs. He just runs like... He just... Elliot Anderson was back and flying yeah, again. Yeah, he's played well. Great player. Won't be a good name. He's, England, we've got some really talented players, but the problem we've got is knitting them all together. Is he 21, Sally, at all? No. He was going to go to Scotland, weren't he? Scotland gave him a full call up and he binned it at the last minute Did because he, he wants yeah. to keep the England option yeah. open. So I reckon he's got the chance. Then. I think he's good enough, yeah. yeah. But, you know, there's going to be competition in there because you've got you know some, some really good technicians in there now. But you've got to look at him and look at Conor Gallagher, who's in there, and I, and I think he's as good as Conor Gallagher, if not better. How would you, how would you play them three for England, folding? Uh, Saka, Palmer. Fold, uh, play Foden as a 10, I play Palmer on the left and Saka on the right. I don't, think, I don't think you can. I think you've got to play. Are you going to play Foden as a 10? No uh, pace on the wings, though. 
Palmer's the Palmer only got is Bellingham's a shoe in. Declan Rice is a shoe in. The midfield three the 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 is going to be Foden, Bellingham, and fucking Declan Rice. That's that. You don't need to change that. No, that's it. But so you play wide then. I think it'll be Saka one side, and then it'll be either Greenish, Greenish or Rashford on the other side. I would imagine. Greenish fans start. No, I'll play either either of them there on current form. No, I'll play Greenish. Would that have in there? Tell me. Fucking tell me. He's a top player. Can't have bang. <laughs> listen, he's a top player. Like, listen, if we're gonna get on pr- principles and morals and all that, fucking half the Premier League won't be playing every Saturday. Let's have it right. Good ball. And then the history of it to be the same. So y- you can't just you can't just vin- uh, like cancel the kid. He- he's he's legitimately an 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 international fucking superstar for England. Like he- he's better than Rashford. He's better than fucking. He's better finisher than all them. Look look what he's done in a short space of time. And the fact that he's gone out of Spain in the midst of this turmoil and gone to Getafe, which isn't a big side, and Atletico Madrid are after signing him, and there's fucking mm, people are, people mean, are yeah. prepared to put what's happened to one side because of, of the quality he's got. Have you seen some of the goals he scored out there? Yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, it's very rare you get a kid who strikes it that early with as little back back lift with his little steps and that clean and that racket. Very is he, rare. Is he left footed? He, I, 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 I think he is, yeah, but he hits it as clean, yeah, off, the other, he it clean off the other side. I think he is, but I, yeah, he does. Like, the problem Saka's you've got is off. Saka's a shoe in for England because he's a penalty taker as well. He's good. He's had a good season. He's like, good, yeah. He's, 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 gonna be, he's, he's on picks. that right side. Done. I think so. And I think Foden's our best player. I so think I, he is. But, but again, Bellingham, and you've got, I think you, you've got to play Rice for the defensive vacuum. Of course you have. So you're going to say, I think Bellingham, Foden... And Rice is it's got a nice combination of the three. Mm. The problem you've got is Cole Palmer th- kind of has to play central rather than wide. Mm. I don't think so. I think Cole I think Palmer's he can play. play off the right. Defo. I think I, that's Grealish's position. That's Saka's position. Now, I, I think Cole Sorry, Palmer. I think play off the left. off the, Saka's off that side. I think he could, but that's Saka's Saka's Andy Gordon, for me. And the Gordon Saka. on the left got a genuine chance. So Gordon's I, coming into form, but I think Grealish is. I, I think Grealish is is, Grealish is fit. I think that's Southgate's number one, if fit. Oh, yeah, but he's not fit and not played as good as Gordon or Paul no, Palmer. That, as you know, not... that doesn't fucking know, matter. For Southgate, You've got Mason yeah. Mount who'll come back into the equation, no, so no, someone no. will miss out, maybe Gallagher or someone. And it's slow possession build-up play for England under Southgate in it, so that's yeah. And Grealish gets you up the pitch, yeah. he gets you free kicks, he's the best at getting fouls in the final third. Yeah, so, he is, yeah. And he's also an experienced senior pro. Anthony Gordon could well throw down the gauntlet to him if he keeps up his fucking red hot streak because I think he's been excellent this year. Brilliant. I got the and I think again. Rashford's fucking played himself out of contention. But you're going on, you're going to, you, how are you going to leave Phil Foden out the side? And you, you can't leave you're Bellingham not, out the side. You're not, well, so that's, that's, there's no other defensive midfielder for England because Calvin Phillips has fell apart. Who else are you going to play in there? Who's the sitter? Well, mm. Prowse, you ain't got the legs to play in there as the older. So you have to play Rice. Oh, what? Prowse got legs. Prowse. I'm saying you have to play Rice unless you go two sitters in there. Which he... he likes playing sense in the middle, don't forget. Josh, Oop. yeah. Trent. S- Salka likes playing sense in the middle. I I, well, you're going to have to leave yeah. Foden Josh, or Bellingham. Josh, yeah. Noah. Oh! oh! He wasn't at Mudrick. He was. Should score that. Could have took another touch. But again, look where he comes from. It's just ghosting in that little slot. He's off. No, he's on. He's off. He's just, just off. Like, just off. Like, yeah. I think he did this lad. I think he's in it. I think he's a yard. He's a half a yard just off. Just wasn't fully just off. Uh, Throw in. I think he's just off there. Evan, uh, nil nil. I'll take you a second half. Four nil. Just get out of there. Bad day at the office. We, I don't. I don't agree. What's, what, why is he laughing with him there? The referee. Be just saying, I haven't got no. any match balls left if you just go to the last give you enough. I'm going to give you one, Casey. Jimmy, Jimmy Floyd. Floyd. Jimmy Floyd. Yes, yes, Jimmy. Yeah, fucking so can England fucking coach. Why is huh. with the England squad? I'll never know. No, the, the England squad come out and said he was... Token black fella, yeah. They've had yeah. to, yeah. Well, he is. I thought he was the token gay fella. <laughs> <laughs> don't think he is. I'll tell you what. You oh, I, I had a over this weekend, allegedly. Yeah? You can't just... Yeah, that doesn't get you away with it. doesn't get you away with it. It's just saying allegedly. Um, he's definitely the token black fella on the staff since Chris Chris No, he released a statement saying, know. yeah. Which is terrible, isn't it? Yeah, like, that's it is racist terrible. in itself. Like, it like, he's Dutch. Yeah. He's got fucking nothing to do with England. He was Burton manager, let's be honest. I, I played against him. They used to play six centre-halves, four across the back line and two in centre midfield. Yeah. Like, but even as... Dreadful. Say, I know he'd done a good job Burton at one point, but he was, by all accounts, but, the but worst even, most boring coach at QPR. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Forgetting the, the tokenism of it all, isn't there no black English strikers... 
better he than... He must have, like, Ian Wright or fucking uh, Andy, Andy Cole, Cole. or uh, Stan, Co- Stan Coley. No, I think who else played for England. I know he's going to be what he's not, I wouldn't say. Who, who else played for England? Darius Vassell. Esky. 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 Do you know what I mean? There's players who, have, who would be a better... Michael Keane coming on up front. This is what I mean. You've got to be sitting there with Dan Juman, not just thinking, no. I must be fucking absolutely terrible if I can't get a run. He's a unity, look at him. He just looks he's like been the f- one bright spark, really. He, he looks like a f- yeah. he looks honestly, like a f- the, I think he'd be the, better in the back three as well. One of the rare things you'll actually get from going to Goodison is watching him play, he's fucking mustard. I'd, I'd go back three with these. I'd use the three of them. I know everyone's on key and heavy, but I'd go back three with this group. I wouldn't play Coleman anymore. I'd go Patterson and I'd just block the middle. I'd go 3 5 2. Patterson's got to start go, me, but obviously. I'd go 3 a... 5 2, which is basically 5 4 1 without the ball, away from home at Chelsea, make it as fucking difficult. Take all the space away from them. Give them don't go pressing them because it brings their front line speed into it and that pocket for Palmer. And I just think Evan have got it drastically wrong. Like the setup, the fact that he's had to make take both centre mids off. Centre mids very rarely come off. Yeah. yeah. But like, it's usually wingers, strikers, or both come off at that time. And he's left lads out there on a yellow card, like Ashley Young, who's not getting any younger, who's on a fucking yellow card, who's... Playing just against like, Honestly, I love Daishi, and I can't, but you can't defend the team selection. Mm. I think it's fucking naive to go to Chelsea and try and press them. You should have gone, stunk the gaff out, and tried to get the crowd at Stamford Bridge to turn on them. The game was over after fucking 25 minutes. Lads, start of the season, we were, we were playing 3-5-2, 3-4-3, and we, that's where we were getting all our results. But like you're bringing Ashley Young and Coleman back into the side, and as good a players as they've been, and, and you know, Shame has been a great servant for Everton. This is an athletic fucking running league, especially away from home against a team that's got one of the average, youngest average ages. Yeah. The Premier League's full of running. You don't mm. want two fucking senior citizens out there. Mm. And Beto was just charging round. Like you've got to pack the midfield, you've got to make it really, really difficult for Cole Palmer, for Chelsea to find any space, keep the play in front of you all the time, get them to risk passes and force passes. And then the crowd turn on them and then try and hate them on the counter attack. But how do you counter attack with Dwight McNeil, who can't run past anyone, and Ashley Young, who can't run past anyone? You uh, can't, he's got no uh, pace. Yeah, got so you're Jack Harrison and you're Dan Jumas, you go, yeah. or even, you know, Patterson maybe playing as a right midfielder if you want to play with Coleman in the back five, but have, have some kind of legs, some kind of pace on he's the not got a bad, He's not got a bad final ball on Patterson as he's well. He's actually run, run, running past, he hasn't run past anyone for six years, he's just chopper now, he's, a, he, you know. He hasn't, he hasn't taken anyone on. He whips a great ball and he's a good technician, but he can't run away from anyone. Yeah, Everton are struggling. So he can't get out to press. Everton are trying to press. He hasn't got the legs to press Crucarella and then get back to the other side. Look at the fucking. Look, here's Mudrick off the back of him. Oh, my oh God. I thought it was an own goal. Is that Michael Keane? Oh, no, it wasn't. I feel sorry for Keane. Oh, he's fucking been. Well, again, like, he's, look where Pickford's pushing him out there. I mean, that's, uh, you, you know my thoughts on the goalie. Uh, hmm. if, if England goes in with a major tournament to South England manager, we can't win. Because they will find a way to lose between them. If it's not one, it'll be the fucking other. Like, like that, he's that should be caught. You know I mean? that, way, should, that, that should be caught. Like that should just it's be scooped a, up. That's watch. not at our ball, is it? Look, I'm catching that. Why is he <laughs> <I'm> catching that? <laughs> Why is he catching it? I'm catching that. He's, he's gone from <laughs> positioning himself to catch it to yeah. pushing it because he's got the hardest hands. He's got fucking rigor mortis in his hands. He can't catch a ball. Like he's got to catch that. That basic. He's got to catch that. He's England's number one, and he's fu- that. Like that could have cost Everton a goal there, an own goal. Cost England the World Cup. And, and he just loves doing it. It was yeah. like the save he made at Sheffield United. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> like the save he made at Sheffield United away, and everyone was wanking over the save he made. And he actually only made it because of the fucking fact he'd done a big mad save in yeah. the first place. But a normal keeper would have caught it or tipped it over. Field. Yeah. How much? One forty. Watch it. What are you waiting so on here, McNeil? McNeil, McNeil one foul. Yeah, he won't Chelsea, take McNeil off. He keep McNeil out there. And uh, lad, don't ride it. Don't don't give. Gonna take that. him off in the 66th minute. Who's he gonna put on? He won't put Dan Juman on for McNeil. He's got to watch. He won't. He'll have to do something. Yeah, unless he, to do unless do he can see it, he will. He will not. He How long does he take Dan? Uh, does, does he take McNeil off? What do you need? A yeah. foul from McNeil and, a two, and two Chelsea corners. Oh yeah, there's another corner. There's another one, one corner. I tell you what, it's happening. Don't be a shitbag and cash out. I'd cash out on 65. Lad, what? He's got, he's got, the he's later got on a, in the game, to McNeil's going to stretch for a fucking ball and foul someone. But no, he's I mean, got to bring Dan Juma on now. Do you know Why? What I mean? Just to give Evan a little bit of but hope. It, it makes him smaller. Dan Juma doesn't mark from corners. Daishi will not be thinking about getting back in the game. He'll be thinking about keeping the score down. Yeah. So he wants yeah. his experienced players out there. Right? That's why he's took off Garner and Onana. He's not really having Onana anyway, I don't think. After that pen. Look at these. No, That's it's a not a foul. Oh, he's giving. 
What? Is it That's a foul, not a foul. That, that is not a pen. That's not a foul. That's not a pen. I think the Palmer one was more of a foul. I think he shit it no, with the Palmer one. can't give this VAR shot. He shit it with the Palmer one. Why does he keep doing this, Jackson? Oh, he's... Mucha Whaley. Don't watch, don't, don't watch the, the thing, yo. Was it Mudrick who... Um... No, it wasn't. Has he... Uh... Is that Mudrick? He just took the ball again like he done last time. Yeah, he's tried to, yeah. It, yeah. He's grabbed it. They're arguing. No, it's the Jackson's trying to get. Palmer takes the penalty. Palmer takes, Palmer him, takes yeah. the penalty. He flipped out him last time for doing it. Bad defending now, isn't it? That one. Oh, that's you can't not a penalty. That's not a penalty. No, no, I told you, that's never been a fucking penalty. Yeah, yeah, I love it. That has never Surely. been. A, he couldn't wait to give it, wasn't he? Paul Taylor. He tripped yeah. over his own ball. He couldn't I fucking think he wait to give it. I think he shit it here, watch. Why is he giving it for that? That's Stick not a penalty. No. The back, the back foot comes through him. He's not meant to do it. It's an accidental fucking penalty. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Matter. <laughs> They're not pens. Get over fucking egghead. Bollock, bollock head. Fucking baldy head. Why are you doing that? Oh, he's giving. He's giving the pen. What is my doing? He's doing. Oh my god, they're all fighting over the ball. Oh my god. That's embarrassing, that. That's, that's, that's not the, the first time it's happened, though. No? I can't believe he's given a penalty for that. I I'm shocked that that's a penalty. It's never that, a penalty. That's, that's never been for a penalty. For me, he's, 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 they both hit the ball at the same time for me. That's not good, though, for your team, that, that nonsense there. But it's not the, the fact that it's not the first time. How how are VAR not intervening? Can somebody tell me why VAR aren't saying there's this he's nonsense. fucking won the ball clearly? You've made a fucking glaring error. Go and look at it. There's this nonsense over this high bar, which is like for, for, for overturned. It's Can't nonsense. Be, he just Tarkowski's only only made contact with the ball. I know yeah. that's I, not a I fucking know. penalty. I know. So I just why is it. VAR not saying to yeah. the ref, listen, you've made a fucking ball look at that? Like, go and look at this. This is nonsense it's, as well. It, it's just a farce. Yeah. It is a farce. Let's be serious. If it doesn't overturn that, and that's the ball's a farce. Not on the fucking spot either. It, it's, it's over the spot, it is. I was so close to Catherine and Palmer, you know. It's be over the spot, it's all right. What, yeah. what is? That's not on the spot. That's not on the spot. No, if you look over it, that'll be over there. That's that not will... on the spot. That is not on the spot. So that's 11 then. yards. That's less than 12 yards away from the goal. It doesn't have to be on the spot. It has to be over the spot. I'm saying the it? penalty spot's 12 yards. That's less than 12 yards. I'd so go and not celebrate only is Jackson. it not a pen. A disgrace, go and celebrate with Jackson. Not only is that not a pen, but also that penalty is taken closer than the 12 I'd, yards. I'd look at him to walk away from him. From who? Look. From who? Oh my God, look wild. Him. Look at him. Do you know walking what? Away from Honestly, him. that is. From, he walked from, away. Not going on celebrate again. If they want to celebrate with him, they all went. They all went over. He's walked off. They had to bring Jackson Palmer. over to him. But clearly, Palmer's the penalty taker. He is. Yeah. So you get slotted. It, 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 the fact that it's the second time that that's happened in the last few weeks is mad. Who was it the first time? Madueki. And then Jackson's doing it I now. I think he's gone Maker's Takers, but he, it's not a fucking... He's not a pen. <laughs> Maker's <laughs> Takers. That's what he, that's what he must have. But that, 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 honestly, how that's given as a pen is just beyond me. It's not a penalty. It's not the a referee, pen, The referee the pen. should be told by VAR to go over and have a look at that at worst. It's not a pen, no, it wasn't. So see. unless he's given for the earlier tackle on Palmer... The, the one on Palmer, he clipped the back of his leg. I think he's shitting at that and give that one. That's what I think he's done. Madness. Where's VAR to, to, to intervene? Like, is, is that not what is that not what we need VAR for to to, to show the referee yeah, and, as, and a different is, angle? Yeah. As we've been told, it's you know there's this massive high bar. Where, what is going to come out now? Did is, you see the Man United penalty at the weekend? I seen both of them. Do you know what? Yeah, the litmus test for me on this one, and I'm, I'm a Liverpool fan saying this. I initially saw United's pen and gone, nah, not never a pen, not nowhere near a pen. But then the defender doesn't even appeal. Defender just got it. What 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 happens is it, it just must flick his arm, but we can't see it over his body. And the defender and the defender goes oh, and just does run to the ref. Go, it's not a pen. What no about two pens against Man United? How soft oh, they, they were. were ridiculous. In, 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 they ridiculous. were ridiculous. So th this is the thing about it. Like the, the game. That's a penalty. Now that's a pen. Now surely that's a penalty. <laughs> He's not going to give it, though, is he? Is, oh, it? What a touch. Oh, is that Tarkovsky? Oh, no. Michael Keane. Ah. So is that not a penalty then? Same contact in the box. Probably, probably more contact in the double hand in the back of the. But it's not even showing it either. Just gamble, Danny. Nice, take yeah. that. Just gamble. Oh, Ooh, my word, it's just a yellow. Just stood on his foot, fucking hell. Yellow card. 
Um, he hasn't even showed it. He hasn't even showed it. It's infuriating, isn't it, lad? Infuriating. Not that it makes a difference. Like, it was fucking five mil. The game's well gone and it's sailed. Well, considering that wasn't a pen, and then we've got a, an obvious. You've got a pen. What he looks... showed the fucking knee play and say, hey. It looked like a two hander push in the back. It did, it did then. The thing is, for Everton, yeah, you, you, you don't want to be getting six and seven. Because your goal yeah. difference could be vital at the end of the season. It's this eats right, right into your goal difference. No, I have Everton to go. have got a bit of a better goal difference, but like, it won't be after this if, if this carries on. Like, why are they still pressing? See, he's the one you can get at. Go down there. We can feel a little touch and go no, down. No, no, no. He goes down when he should stay up and yeah. he doesn't go down. He's fucking crap. Yeah, he's awful. He's just crap, isn't he? Watch, accept this little challenge there and go down. You just don't... I remember that West Ham game we went... We were at Goodison. You just don't fancy him to score. To be fair, mm. he scored the other second half when we were down. Like he goes through one on one, and you 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 you, you, you just don't fancy him to score. The only strength he's probably got is in the air. He just but... works hard, doesn't he? Like yeah. he, he does try hard and work hard, but like it, it's not with any any quality. No. He's like, a bollocks. Like, I'd sign a bollocks off for a hundred grand a week. <laughs> Can't be on that much, surely. Nah, I then again, they paid twenty odd mil for him. Saying it's probably a standard wage now in the Premier League and well, everything. McNeil, fucking bring him down. <laughs> is that McNeil chasing him? <laughs> yeah, Bev. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I think the linesman, the linesman's having a look at it. If you give advantage, no. it doesn't count, does it? He's heavy oh. partner. That it's an easy afternoon for him against this Everton midfield. Yeah, it is. He's on fire, isn't he? And it, yeah, I think like, Thiago Silva's no faster than better. Who's to at them? No, who's to at Palmer? Yeah. Who's actually been goal side when the ball's come when to him and actually got right amongst them and like rattled the shin pads? Nobody, not one. Remember when you used to watch Everton teams? Scored and they'd, four and goals and nobody. They'd have four or five rattlers in their team, Everton. They'd have four or five of them. Grab us. Yeah, who would go yeah, through you. Carsley. You haven't made a tackle. Everton haven't made a fucking tackle. I'd know. To be fair, we've had four yellow cards. <laughs> yeah, but not, even, not made a bad tackle. That Michael Keane one. Yeah, that, that was naughty. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, that Tarkovsky got a foul. That's not a tackle, is it? Like, it's like a foul. Got of Neil? No. He's given him everything in here. Yeah, he is. He's yeah. left. He's had nothing as well. It's um, another painful. Um, night for the Blues. Another mm -hmm. painful night. Another painful night. Cash out's dwindling here. It's gone down to 75. Well, you need one corner, one foul. I don't think you're in for that. You'd be unlucky. It's going to come down McNeil's side. He's already having a little few nibbles. So if he starts all laying in that here, he's only going to get frustrated. <laughs> Lads, I just put if Beto shot John Lennon, he'd be 83 today. Fuck it hell. Don't be wrong. <laughs> the editor, he'd be dead like. Tell you what. How open we are, though. It's so naive. Here's the Mudrick's base. on. Oh, oh slide him in. Black Neil, is he pulling someone there? Dive. He's in the thick of the action, yeah. like, isn't he? He'll he, he get stuck in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was it then, you know. That was the that was the tackle there. Just kick him on the floor. Obstruction. Just kick him on the floor. No, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's about how bad it's just a foul. He doesn't need the just yellow card. Yeah, just a foul. <coughs> That's how bad it's You've got to get one corner in the next 20 minutes, surely, to God. Yeah. You'd get a, you'd get a corner. Like What's going to say, Mac Neal? Champion for an April. Yeah, watch, yeah. That's the one where he clips the back. That's accidental. Was on a it doesn't matter, though. You can be accidental and be, and be a pen. If he gives it for this. How's that a pen? That's insane, you know. That's, that's, that's one of the worst I've seen. Yeah. If anything, that's a this foul watch, on Tarkowski. That's the, that's the pen there for me. But he doesn't give it. I know he doesn't give it. He gives this. He does give it. Oh. I know he's giving it, yeah. He's giving uh, one for Palmer. Uh, uh, has, yeah. he, has he given it? He's, he's given Palmer's one. Do you think? He's looking at Cole Palmer. I yeah, think he's so, Do you think he's played the advantage because they've got the ball in the box? Do you think he's played the advantage because they've got the ball in the box? I think Noah's right there. He's given the one for Palmer, uh, played the advantage, yeah, yeah, yeah. not not seen the ball off and pulled, and pulled it back for the Palmer one. I can That's see how he's given the Palmer one. The Palmer yeah. one's a pen for me. But it, I think it's harsh. I think it's accidental contact. It doesn't matter. It's not a pen in it. That's irrelevant. It's a foul in the box. Oh, if you mean it or you don't. Stop fucking oh. ruining it, will you? That's a cool one. Lad, lad, here he is. Go on, 
Should we need the corner now? Yeah, it wasn't even a fan. Yeah. One corner for how much? Cashel's jumped up to 250. Oh. Seven ton. You're getting a corner, are you, in the next 20? Oh, rat. What'd you get, seven ton for the right. thing? You're in the air, lad. Off a of five or three best. 20 bro. minutes without a corner, you got to be fucking the jinx if you don't get this in. The cash oh. man. You're the cash man if this doesn't this, come this, in. That, that's like proper Evan. <laughs> the cash man. <laughs> that's proper Evan and this doesn't sure, come in. Surely you have a one <laughs> on no corner minutes. now for the next thing, yeah, yo. Yeah, a good shout, actually. You have a one on no corner for the next 20 minutes. What price is that? That you got to get about 20 to one on that. Yeah, let's have a look. I don't know if you can do that. You can play. No. Yeah, I would even, I would total, you to win six ton. over corners. I wouldn't even that. I wouldn't even do that. It's gonna come it's gonna come I in. No, we just you just pay you're getting six ton for free rather than cashing out. Yeah. Be about eight to one for yeah. no corner for twenty minutes. And you, can, and you do that now? I don't think you can. No, no corner for Everton. No, uh, no, no, no corner, corner for Chelsea, corner for Chelsea, Chelsea for the rest yeah. of the game. No more corners. Can you do it? No. Under corners, you might be able to do it on Paddy. Cramp, 70 minutes, get yourself off, acting like a dickhead, trying to get the pen, get yourself off, cutting your socks like a fucking dickhead, get yourself off. What are you hooking up? Ah. Let them sort it out, won't you, Potch? Ah, chuckle mecha. Carney, chumma wacha. <laughs> chuckle wumba. <laughs> chumma. Is this the kid who uh, forced the move from Villa? Yeah. Don't mind these, yeah, these yeah. kids who fucking won't sit tight and be happy uh, getting money stuffed down the mouth and want to go and play. I don't mind them. I like it. Wanna go and play? That's the right attitude to have. You're not gonna play me here, are you? I'm off. Wanna go and play? But the, the thing is, there's not many of them about now. They, they like to sit on a on a bench and drive the Range hard, Rovers. No, and... It's hard when people are paying you that much to move. Yeah, yeah. under eleven corners, seven to one. That's me, isn't it? What's it on? No, how many have you had? Oh no, because that that means of Everton. No, my fucking luck, Everton. I'd get a corner. Sixteen corners, yeah. No, you know, you just need no Chelsea corner. You can't do just Chelsea. Can you Chelsea know? get a corner here with 18 minutes to go. Unless you're cursed. <laughs> Ever? Unless you are no, the cursed. No, the cursed the Evertonian. Um, How many do you need them to have? Six. <sighs> Since they've only had five here. Yeah. Since they've only had four. Does he need two corners or one? Thought yeah, said. I need two. Uh, no, sorry, I do need two corners. They've had four out of six. Yeah, oh, they're, they're I'm taking 250 all day. What? You're getting another two corners? Yeah. See, it's an 18 minutes. They're just going to pass it around. You'll get another two corners. The game has died. Everton are gonna to have to get after them. So Chelsea to, have got pace. The There's lads who are coming on now. Chucha, Carney, Chucha, Wamla, Mudrick, who've got a point to prove. That's the chat. Yeah, what's the chat? Do you think cash right out? Chat. Or not? Yeah, would you cash them, out now? Two hundred and fifty quid, or would you wait for Chelsea to get two corners, or even one more for corner seven hundred quid? Fast cash out. My yeah, my, um, my thing yo says they wouldn't give you, you the fucking they wouldn't give you the cash out option. Oh, that's bad. If, it, if it was in if it was a better up advantage for you. So the reason you put it there is so that you bar me. Yeah. And they, they, like they've, they're staying down the battle of seven sons who are you here. To be honest, yeah, and it is off a of five or three bet. Do you know what I mean? Is it? <laughs> what? Got to so, let it die, don't I? That could have easily been a corner there, a little deflection. You can get two corners in fucking 30 seconds. I'm riding one. all day. Because <laughs> the upside is way idea. nicer. Are you not losing money, so... No, I know, but I fucking lost a load on the weekend, like, so it would be yeah. nice to get some back. Hey, so that was it, you go to the races. Corner. No. Yeah, you know what, I might die this. Which? This game. No. I'm telling you, I'm Reckon. telling you. No, it's yeah, dead. They're... They're going to pass it around. Look at that, lad. Hey, right, fair enough. There's that Erling Haaland who's been shipped this So, that tells... How's he not starting for England? He's the top goal scorer in the pen. And Chelsea sure. have struggled this year. Chelsea, he's yeah, been a been bright, bright yeah. light in a, in, in a tough Same season Chelsea. <laughs> but he still... He didn't get a sniff in the friendlies. Quite a lot saying cash out here, yeah, Jesus. Get yeah, they're all going down the cash out. The ship, majority right? of the chat are saying cash out here, yeah, they are. It was off a free five, a bet, by the no. way. Chat. You've got to ride it for me. Cash out, cash out. Oh, it's quite it a lot of cash out here. Which is tit here, isn't it? Which is tit. Let's see. <laughs> if you get one before 80, you've got a fancy one in the last 10. And the game's Two dead. corners. I know what you mean, the game's dead, but that, that usually, you usually get more throw-ins, more corners as the game breaks down. Because people get lazy, wingers just... See, that's trying to get crosses in. That. Defenders just angling the legs out, look. <laughs> there you go. Put that oh, it must be... Oh. Needs up the other end of the park, don't we? Yeah. 
Og der var Saturn i Adi Vares i. Det var jo en tænke. Ja, det var jo en tænke. 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 Det var jo What were you quite asking? It's, it's a disappointing one because it's the, the scoreline, but I don't think you expected to win. I think a draw was a great result. Oh, well, ex- a draw, yeah. That's what I'm saying. A draw was a great result. Especially after getting the points in the But I think it's the way you've been, the way you've been beat. You've been absolutely it's finger blasted. Yeah. How are you going to keep a clean sheet or certainly make Chelsea out? Push they out gave Chelsea it? the game yeah. there, really. Like, Should have said what you done. I was actually most of the line. Fill the central corridors. Because what he'll do, he'll leave the seniors out there because then they're accountable, aren't they? They can't be in the dressing room moaning. So you got us into this shit as seniors, you get us out. That's, that, that's a manager's mindset sometimes there. Like, you know, they'll all be lads he trusts. Seamus Coleman obviously that. comes off. Corner. But like he started with all them lads, seniors. He's gone for like a bit of now in there. Obviously, yeah. you know, the downside of that is you lose Patterson's, a bit of mobility. Patterson's pulled the groin there. Who? Patter- um, Michalenko. Michalenko, sorry. He's... Get him off. He's put his groin. <laughs> he's actually been surprisingly. I yeah. absolutely caned him last year, but he's he's been one of our best players this year. I don't, I don't think Everton, Everton, Everton certainly in recent weeks they haven't had a chance by the midfield structure. It's just left the back four and keep it too vulnerable. You can't do it over a kick there. Yeah, I might get a corner here, better with shooting. Oh, he's on this. Oh no no no. Oh mm. my god, he's got away god. with murder. Oh he got away with murder. Is that Patterson? Yeah. That's why he's not playing. Come on. I think no the corner but Evan yours is fuck no way. McConaughey needs to cash out someone said McConaughey needs to cash out the time 13 minutes plus stoppages yeah. there'll be 5 minutes watch your cash yeah. out the game is dead 15 subs there's going to be no, like 10 minutes what's he up to lad what's he up to <laughs> <laughs> Beto he wasn't even close to getting that that hits his other knee he wasn't even close to getting that that you've got to know. You've got to know your limitations as a player. He's trying to do fucking scissor kicks. He can just about kick it properly at the best of times. That is his other knee. Oh, you shit bastard! Honest to fucking god. No, when you just realise like you've got a limitation and you've got to play within those limitations. Like we all want to do fucking all these fancy things, but some of us I just can't do it. It's better. Yeah. Like, yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> He he's been unlucky, that shall. I thought he's done really well under two shot, and then injured, lost his way he? a bit, shall Did then... he get injured? Did he get a bad injury? Yeah. He was playing on that right centre half. Yeah, in he? the back three, he, he was yeah, going he was well good. under two shot. This is the wrong end of the picture, you, Josh. <laughs> the last five minutes. Oh, oh there you go. go. Oh, it's Michael Jackson. He's not got anything. Not in there. No legs. On. He's blowing Jackson. Yeah, he's done a few step overs and a moonwalk. No, so. he's he's blowing for tugs. He's um his race has run. Well played, lad. Everton actually starting to play decent football, for fuck's sake. Yeah, 5-0. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking football, isn't it? A 5-0, you might as well get on it. That's a foul. Oh. Get on. <laughs> He's got you the foul, so he can go off, can't he? <laughs> Wasting time, I mean. Hugh Grant yeah. we've just had as well for Josh there. <laughs> More lookalikes in the chat, please. <laughs> You granting his divine for all the lads, not, not, not like his uh, four <laughs> weddings and a funeral face. <laughs> what about him getting Colin for doing that? CD man, isn't he? What, Remember he had the sleep brass in the car when he was gone well with Liz Early. You, yeah, you grant, he was like that. What's the name? The, the, Bob, the black fella, She's black beard. Yeah, they could get a buzzer off in the car. Like, yeah, <laughs> is, <laughs> like is, he was going out with Liz Early. Yeah, at the time. I know. Just like, Liz Early was power, weren't she back in the day? He's the best player in the. She's still good. She's still in good order now, Liz. Early. She must have seen. She must have done some damage. Yeah, flattened a bit of grass in the time. I would imagine, Liz. But you like. Why was she going out with him? Because he, he's not like. He was a. He was, he was a, a big star, yeah. but he wasn't like. No, he was a big star. He was. A, no, I, I remember her doing loaded, and she was just incredible. Yeah. In it. Like we just like wow. Like like made of marble, <laughs> like the yeah, whole body. Yeah. Josh is getting some mad shouts here. Yeah. Who's he getting? James Blunt. <laughs> the fucking corners have dried up here, though, since the curse man. Since the curse man. Is he, is he catching? Yeah, he has looked. The curse has been off in you now. It's two tons. It's one. Eh? One a cash out. Suspended. Could be a corner. Must have got a corner then. I know, stop looking. Oh, yeah. Must have got a corner. Oh, yeah, they have. 
Also, haben die jetzt Hacken zu Ah, Josh hat noch gesehen, sehr ist Ich habe wohl nicht Ah, so viel Kiefer nicht an Bach. Oh, das ist nice, go on forward. Ja, yeah, go on. Stop lachen. Is this looking on his foot on the bed? Oh, wow. Just keeping it down, they've got no, they're not going for any penetration. I told you that it's just which is tit. Yeah, he's down the side if you want to. I reckon even one more, get a decent cash out. What do you reckon Chelsea will do next year? Bad tunnel. It's going to be hard because, well, they're not going to make Europe again, so they're going to have a strong squad. You can't sell no more hotels. <laughs> yeah, but well, they'll find a way around it, won't they? Find a way around Someone's it. asked what's more likely to happen, Everton to get relegated or Liverpool to win the league from this point. Everton to get relegated, I would imagine. Yeah. Look at the odds. Unfortunately. Liverpool are only two Especially points on the, the only saving grace is it's still in Everton's hands, isn't it, really? Because you've got them games. Yeah, and it's not in Liverpool's hands. Liverpool, it's not because obviously they yeah. need City to slip up. They need City to lose and Arsenal. It's just Everton. It's just the way Everton are set still up. Like, you're Arsenal never going to keep a clean sheet time, with, yeah. that, with that level of protection in the Premier League in front of your back four. No matter how good your back four is, it's getting exposed because there's, no, there's nothing to protect it. Then that's Everton's problem next season as well. Come on, lads, get it down the sides. Everton have got to cull the wage bill, set up players to stay afloat and not and not improve the squad. It's going to be tough. The problem is you haven't even got a load of young kids to so maybe... That's what I'm saying, there's not even... I can't, I st- honestly, said that. you telling me that Ella Sims couldn't do any worse than this fucking Beto today. He's scored a few comments, yeah, he's just scored. Top scorer in the Champions League. Yeah, that's what I mean, he's scored a few comments. Is he? Beto wouldn't be top scorer in the Champions League, isn't he? Because he fucking can't hit a cow's ass with a fucking banjo. <laughs> he's not going to score goals, him. He's just, he's just going to be a big physical unit, big target man. He's only on loan, isn't he, Ellis Sims? Ellis Sims, no, they sold him, paid 7, 8 million for him. They sold that Gorkarez, didn't they, to sport in Lisbon? Absolute nightmare. Victor Gorkarez, who they took from Brighton. We were we linked with him as well, weren't we? Oh, I got to I nearly took him to Fleetwood, I was trying to get him on loan at Fleetwood, but... Sims? No, Victor Gorkhras, when he was a kid. Um, Smashing it for them now. And he went to Coventry on loan and fucking absolutely netted. Josh has had their coat on Matt Letizia. Who was? Ah, Josh was getting laddered. Their coat? Oh, oh, that's, that's an heavy show. Go for Matthew McConaughey, that's their coat. Letizia, this is what shows you. McConaughey, you'd be happy with. Yeah, I'd take that. This is not even getting high enough off the pitch here to get. <laughs> so the game, the game has died. Two fifty off a three five, I bet it would have took her all day. Doesn't it? Like two fifty though. Off a f- off a five. Off, 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 off nothing. I do on principle. I'd never. Ca- I would never cash out. Just you don't need a doubt. No, I just wouldn't do it. There's no way the bookies have put that option in there for you if it was benef- if it was in your favour. They want every single angle covered them, oh, and that's fun. obviously one of them. Obviously, some they'll win, some they'll lose on the cash out, but... They just shut, they just shut the game down. Slow the pace right down. Keep there's playing, no keep playing. Heaven, heaven you just, well, there's no penetration by Chelsea. They're happy. Chelsea's happy losing the throw in there. They're happy. It's 5-0. Oh, there's <laughs> Chelsea fans getting off there, look. It's seven minutes ago. One of the, one of the young kids will have a run in a minute. Come on. <laughs> you go backwards. Come on. <laughs> what, Fucking turn around and go the other way. Backwards. Just keep ball. Kill, slow the pace down. Easy option every pass. Oh, they have got from Fucking edge of the was box on to there. there. <laughs> was on there, yeah. Shows you how bad Everton have been though when it's coming to those trying to count the amount of corners that uh, Chelsea get. Look at this. Oh, Chester down. That's Pickford's down. first touch in about 15 at minutes. Caught that. It's surprising he never fucking dropped that. Six corners, corners each was the best. Punched it. Yeah, I, I just, like, for an elite level goalkeeper, as you say, you, like, you, you don't ever, you fancy it something out of him every game, don't you? You fancy, like, you he'll fancy do something mistake mad. the game, yeah. Does and that's why I just. But then who, who, and I know you think you like Dingio for Newcastle, but who's the, who else is there for England in goal? Well, you know, usually you never get everything, do you? There's always like, remember we had a really good side, but no, we were crying out for like Ryan Giggs for like a left a left yeah. winger. Like you sometimes don't get everything. You got to find a way of winning. But I do genuinely do feel like he's been good for England. He's a lot better for England than he is for Everton. Because he's playing against Molnar. Well, I know like that, that he has less uh, less to do. Yeah. 
But also, I just don't think... Um, a, when, when he steps up, and, and if we get through the group and he steps up, uh, he's going to struggle, Pickford. Surely if Chelsea pressed this, it stinks of a corner at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Five. Shoot. He's been good tonight, Chalaba. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's played well. I thought Cucurella's done all right as well. I thought nothing to do, though. That's what I mean. He's just simple. 97 year old Ashley Young fucking playing against him. <laughs> It's kind of like half press, but like not, not, not any any real chance of winning the ball. But you pass, they pass this back, this free kick. But it, it gives <laughs> us a good, a good bit of stopping time if they get one now. I reckon it's five minutes because there's been a few. The problem like. is no one's even trying to penetrate and get down no. the outside. They're just going like, back. It's <laughs> just screaming to get the ball to pass it back. No one's trying to penetrate. Look, they're just going back. It's just keep ball. It's just keep ball. Not to worry. Hey, you've had a good good ride out of it though. What's the cash out saying now? Four pound. <laughs> what is your What are the offers? Yeah, be suspended. I won't. Don't do it now, will he? Don't do it until other time. Twenty-five quid. Take it. Might as well. You might as well lose your free bet, mightn't you? Yeah, you'll take it. Nah. Take it. Imagine you took it and you got two corners. Bump, bump. Oh, <laughs> you know what it happened. The case, the Everton. No, as soon as we said pulled up stumps, as yeah. soon as we said Chelsea are getting two corners yeah, the game just stopped you had 20 minutes left you'd have fancied I know them. they yeah. called it though the game was dead five you could see them already starting to yeah, pass yeah. it around the back you'd, the game's died listen the way the matches like the first 60 minutes Everton were that bad you thought fuck it I'm going to let this ride go on then who's your England 11 then if you're talking about it now I don't I'm picking the best goalie so I'm picking Nick Pope Kyle Walker yeah. John Stones. Yeah. There you go. I'd play I'd play Declan Rice as centre half. I wouldn't go Maguire. And you'd what? Go. I don't think Brian Freight's ready. I think Declan Rice is a better centre half. He's the best CDM in the league. I think st- I, I half agree in the group stages. Not better than Rodri, be serious, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, English then. English. He's our best thing he's the yeah, best CDM. It, I, I actually think to get Palmer in the team. You'd you, I so know you should field three. Bellingham. Foden, Palmer. So you're having Bellingham holding midfield? No, just let the them go. In the group stage, that, don't so you're all about the defensive midfielder for, yeah, for yeah, Everton. England usually dominate the ball, don't they? That's so what I'm saying. So I agree. So you're playing against Germans. That's why I'd, I'd oh, play. Oh, no, no. You'd have, to play with two, you'd have to play with two holders against a team like that. In the group stages, I'd play Trent. Not, 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 not Walker. I'd play Trent in the group stages. You can't really play Walker. You could, but you could play Stones and Walker as centre-half. Kind of lopsided a little bit. The problem for England's going to be goalkeeper and left back. Yeah, we have got a left back. And left also, back. if you Gomez. play Kane, you can't press. No, he's been shite last couple of games. No, he looks. He looks. He had, he's, he's been he our best player. Well, not, sorry, best player. He was shite the other night. Gomez. He was shite. Joe Gomez. Then. Yeah, he was. Doesn't start for England, Gomez. Who's starting left back? Chilwell. Chilwell looks fit now. I think Chilwell. If or Shaw's not going to be back. If Chilwell. Chilwell if Chilwell cracks on the last couple, look at this. This he's got to start left back for me. Problem is, Chilwell can't stay fit and Shaw can't stay fit. So you're going into a major tournament no. where you're playing a load of games in a probably, short space probably of time. Probably in there, won't he? I reckon I reckon they're gonna have two teams: one for the group stages, one for when they're playing a proper team. Yeah, well, of course you've got. But but I'm King looking won't. at it going. How, how can you how can you get more good players in the team? The only way is really dropping right down. Right down. That's not the way. Shout the world. And then you lose Maguire or you lose Bramfite or who could play maybe Colwell or who else has he put a uh, Lewis Dunk's not at the level is he based no. on the, his performances he's two games and fucked up twice. I just think uh, I mean I know he's not kicked the ball for England but it's mad that Bramfite. You got Kobe Mainu you could play you could play Declan Rice and Kobe Mainu Kobe as Mano defensive play, yeah. kind of with a defend more defensive head on. I think Jordan Henderson's best years for England are behind him. I don't think he should be making squads no. now. Um, I'm trying to think who else could really I don't throw. Think, like, I don't what think about Marcus the boy at Newcastle? Which Wally one? Staff? No. Could he make an England squad? Sniff the team. No, I don't, I, but I'm I, saying, I, I'm I like saying in terms of you pick pounds, runners. You I pick runners. I reckon what I've, I've Calvin won't. Phillips. Fucking long, Matt, Matt, long staff. Sure, long runner. staff's better than Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips fucking, runner, listen, he our best player since we've been playing. For me, long staff's better than fucking Calvin Phillips. Yeah, Calvin, yeah, Calvin Phillips is that. Oh. Oof. <laughs> no, you <laughs> you wants the deflection there, didn't you? It's a young kid, isn't it? Good finish. Yeah, look at him. What, a young Chelsea kid as well. Okay. He's got the crab there, but just stood there like that. <laughs> <laughs> Go away from to be fair to him. Fair enough. Look at him, he's made up there, look. 
What's that, isn't it? Yeah. Chelsea fans can only score, I'd imagine it. It's only 6 0. Fucking hell. He's looking for them. He's looking for his dad or something there, didn't he? He looks young as well, doesn't he? Fair play to him. It's like you making your debut with your little skinhead. Yeah, he's a clumsy yeah. beekeeper like me, isn't he? He's been a clumsy beekeeper in the academy there. <laughs> Chill, well, this should be left back for England. I'm just going Hard in there. hands again, no. Oh, where is he? What's he? Boy, where is he again? And he makes a good save. Goes through. Wait, what's the keeper look? Oh, what's no, he, what? I think it's a good don't strike. Don't think it's safe. It's a good strike. Let's say he squeezes it in the gap. Like, Someone gets in his way, no? He palms it out. He's got to save should, it. Should have caught that. He's got to <laughs> save it, like. Let's see. The core is oh, as well. It goes through his legs. It's the core is literally stuck. He hits it into the ground with the zip on. It goes oh, through the core is legs. I'm being harsh on Pickford. It's, it's, it, he couldn't have got that, especially with the, if it's in the corners with the old T Rexes. That's yeah. good to see though, isn't it? The young kid. Seven minutes, Josh. If you'd have got chance. one there, you could have got that. Oh. chance. I think that's the core eh, of oh, Pickford. That's why yeah. there. Like, he's, you know what? He is going to kip tonight, Tim. He's like on Clark Nine. Look, look, he's looking. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Is he down to 10 now, Evan? <coughs> oh, Godfrey. I like Godfrey. No, he's cracking. He's awful. I, but you know what? He would have suited no, he, been better no, suited he could play. He's better than three. If he would have played in a five, he, would, he, he would have been he better suited uh, playing hang tonight. Hang on, he played all the midfielder for Shrewsbury in the, in the League One. I know it's a big step up, but he has played all the midfielder before, Godfrey. He did play it for a season for the Shrewsbury. So I'm saying you've got no defensive acumen. You mm, put has. him in there. Yeah, there's worst thing like I mean well, they couldn't have been any more open than they fucking were this afternoon or this evening because they've been porous like the whole game. Six uh, nils, uh, six nil, and Chelsea haven't even knocked on for the last twenty minutes. Let's be honest, they've just been fucking keeping the ball. Like it, 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 Everton on a worrying run. It, like yeah. you don't want to yeah, be worrying. in the lack of form they're in the only thing, at this stage in the season. The only positive is this was a game which you, on paper you shouldn't have won. So it's not you like you're six nil. I know, but I know what you I'm were saying. Three nil down, four nil down after fucking. I know, but my point is, you, minutes. on paper, if you're looking at your results, saying right to stay in the Premier League, we're, we're not going to win this. We should yeah, win yeah. that. We're not going to win. We should win that. Yeah. This is one that but, you should. But you've actually not. lost four points in this game because you've lost the three of the game and you've lost an, a point maybe on your goal difference. Because you've lost six goals to none. I don't think it comes to goal difference. This, Everton this have scored season. how many goals in the last 14 games? It's like a ridiculously low number. Look, look. So you so you had six better goals. Say you lose 2-0 later today. You, you're on you uh, minus 12. Who's that could be a point, that. It's a, it's a four-goal swing if you lose 2-0 to Forrest. Who's your game in hand? hand? Liverpool. Yeah. And like eight. Well, Canal, the way we're playing at the minute. I know. Yeah, listen, the derby's a derby. We've seen that United. We should have batted them. I go to some park. You just, I, I can't see it because we, 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 we're fucking bad. You know what I mean? But and you create loads of chances, and you're can't. not going to miss chances at the level you have all season. It's not going to carry on. You'll have it. You might. It's cost you now at a crook, at a crux in the season. Well, Liverpool, that it like the Jota chance that's cleared off the line of Salah one. They'll go in in a couple of weeks. It's just the, you know all the bad fucking looks come on at a key time, and it's obviously. A, a ch- you know, put a fucking big big hole in your sails for the for the title race and, and Europa League final. But I mean, I mean, Everton's game plan tonight. Is, I, mean, I mean, you know, na- naive. If this was Lampard, that'd be absolutely nailing. Him, just saying. But Chilwell get that assist. He yeah, he, 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 he oh, shot in the end. On Paddy Power, when they he, make a sub, the player who comes on, like goes to the bit then. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, So Chilwell's come on for Mudrick. Is that is that an assist if he's No, because it's it's a it it it's keeper, pick, it it? Pickford saved it. Yeah, but they give that on fantasy premise, they're not giving it. No, I won't give it on Paddy. Oh he's got it as well. But you have got your thing go anyway. No. Your corners anyway. I know. When Everton were going well, it was off the back of clean sheets. They're so oh, open yeah. at the minute. So open. Like, gotta get back to being hard to beat. <laughs> Got to get back to fucking making it really, really difficult for the opposition to get any foothold in the game because we don't create loads. So if you don't create loads, the last thing you want to do is give away loads of opportunities. Yeah. Everyone forgets when Everton were riding well under Daishi, yeah, they were keeping clean sheets. They weren't the most attacking team, but they didn't give fucking much up because they had the right structure. Yeah, to he was the, strong, the he was, that's what it was. It was, yeah. And a, oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, 
I call him dying, just make that one say, long ball. I did say 6 0, though, didn't I? Lad, normally. Did you go 6 0? No, times no when, it, when it was 3 0, I went to be 6 0. I didn't think I didn't fancy Evan to get it. I went for three 0 I just didn't think they'd be that bad. I didn't think they'd be that naive in in, the, in their approach to the game. I mean, they never had a chance to do. What were you down? One 0 after five minutes, four minutes. Yeah, as it was it. That was it when they scored Bethel twelve minutes. Bethel missed the sitter, Bethel 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 the sitter and then he scored. Nearly stayed after that, didn't he? Yeah, I mean the thing is, Calvert Lewin could have missed that chance that Bethel missed because they're both a bit mm. roaring, f- a little bit, you know, not not. Not what you would call kind of natural goal scorers, are they? You'd fancy them more with their head than the feet to score. Yeah, yeah. Both of them. You haven't got, I'd, I'd like a, someone's great with the feet up. No, as a, no, but I, just, I still can't believe Dan Juma. I know you're saying that. Oh, he's, he's, in, he's in, he's in, he's in. Good strike. No, it's not on ball. He's given everything to the Chelsea, not that it mattered, because only the rest made a big difference. Dan Juma's going to play next game then, hasn't he? Has Dan Juma come on? No. I don't know why, he just doesn't like him. Oh, it's a good deflection. But, he, but he's that. looked lively. He is a Every lively time player. He's on the pitch for Everton, but Dice just doesn't play him. I reckon he's got a bit of an attitude, though. Just to think, how bad can he be? Can he, like, yeah, what if Mac, what if Mac yeah. and Young He's playing Harrison mean? over him, does that not tell you Everton, no? I mean, and Harrison, so he, must be, he mustn't be he having can't him can't because he doesn't work Corner. going the other way. It can't be that. No, because we're getting fucking. Like Harrison should have passed that there. Like he just, for me, there Harrison just shows his lack of his lack of quality. Because that should have been a pass to Dwight McNeil. He has to flick it over his head to control it, and hasn't got a clue what's coming round the corner. Like you're six 0 down at Stamford Bridge. Like you're fucking lower than a snake's belly for confidence, and you're flicking stuff round the corner when you can see someone who's in in space that you should have passed to. Go and, go and get that ball, son. He was he was head and shoulders. Best but again, you got you got afforded the fucking luxury of having as much space as you could. Yeah, all the time in the world. You called it again, though, before the game. Everton's midfield was looked poor. Just you just knew there was going to be loads of space for him, and then I, I couldn't believe the naivety in terms of going to pressing at that level. You go and press at that level, it's got to be a full court press. Like your back four's got to be up, your keeper's got to be squeezed up. Everton's back line were, were dropping two, four, five yards too deep. And the volume of area that opens up for them, for your midfielders to cover, and especially midfielders who haven't got a fucking clue what's going on behind them, mm. which Onara and Garner didn't, hence the reason at half time, both of them got the shepherds. Mm. Um, Evan got a, a bit better second half, but couldn't really get any worse. And I probably think that was as much Chelsea kind of pulling up stumps and happy with what they've got and having a game of keep ball than Everton really improving. Yeah. Um, Cole Palmer should have just. Both past Jackson was spinning the ball as fingers. The big thing was if Everton get in front with Beto's, Beto's chance, chance, I still think Chelsea come back and beat them easy based on how many opportunities. I don't think it'd be six though. Well, again, I, I don't think Everton are the one from getting in front, but no. again, goals change games. We never know, and the, people don't understand when you've got a shite striker like that. You know, you're not going to get many chances, especially at um, Stamford Bridge, and it's actually demoralising for you because you create an opportunity. Coleman puts hell of a ball in. And he fucking hits his heel and goes over the top. And it actually demoralises your team because you think, he's just shit, he's just never going to score. I know. And then the goal he does score, he's four yards offside for because he doesn't know where the offside is. That's how I feel when I watch fucking Nunes play. <laughs> yeah, but we'd swap you. I'd swap you for better. Yeah, he's still oh, got what? Nunes got 20 goals this year still. I'd swap you for Must better. Be. Um, all, all competitions. That, that's a big thing. Goals and assists, I think he's on. Goals and assists, I think he's on. In terms of um, Chelsea, best pushing for sixth. <laughs> My dad was so loud, he looked good there, but it's still Europa League, innit? They win the game in hand the level. I'm saying it's still Europa League. And they've been absolutely been to a cup final this year. We had a cup final, Chelsea. Chelsea, yeah, yeah. Back, yeah. I mean, so like in terms of the job done, they were 12 at one point. Have they got, have they got Coventry in the semis? Semi final, yeah. They're in the FA, are they in the FA Cup semi? Yeah. Against Coventry? No. Right? No. No. Man United, United has got Man Coventry. United play Coventry. Because we would have got Coventry, but. He fucked up. Um, Man United play Coventry, and who's the other semi final? City. Against. Who is it? City against who? Who is it? City against who? I'll have a look now. United, Coventry. City versus it's not Chelsea. Tell you what, they're good looking lads. The darts players aren't. They? <laughs> you think they get like modelling contracts and that <laughs> once the darts career finishes? That's a great figure for darts. It is Chelsea. City yeah, Chelsea. Chelsea. I bought a dart ball for the, for, the, uh, for the studio. Which? I bought a dart ball for the studio tonight. Um, right, so we're going to do the City game Wednesday then? Yeah. City Anyone who asks him we're doing the City game on Wednesday? 
Cheers, Deli. Yeah. Half seven start. Smelly Alley. Anything that you want to go over? Cole Palmer's not going to get no Brill Cream contracts, is he? Stiffy toffee driven. <laughs> right, is that it? I know, do you want to go, anything you want to go um, over? Well, I'll be yeah. 10 o'clock. Any, do you want to do 10 minutes, 15 minutes questions? See what people are firing in. There's no point. Get That's some questions in the chat. Evident. There's no some point uh, breakdown. The, yeah, um, into the nitty-gritty. Sean Dyshine will just be a big red bulb and a minimum oh, He must be even redder than he was before the game. Oh, like, that, that vein will just be like hard here somewhere. The thing is, like, I, I'm... I'm a big fan of Daishi, but like that was a naive setup in the middle of the park, and I've been seeing that for weeks. I've been seeing the setup like you can't set up like that at this level. Like you're just gonna get your ass handed to you. Not with the players at the disposal. I think he might have. You just gotta be harder to beat, lad. We're it, not hard to beat. I, I think he's put a bit too much on them players, thinking he can do this. No, when he, 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 he can't. He can't. Yeah. Press. So I'm saying, you can't press. oh, shut, that, you can press him and you can do that. They can't do it. So it's like. Maybe he watches them doing it training or something. Yeah, well, he can do he can't that. He can't, they're not doing it. They're not capable of pressing. Yeah. They've got no cap- And the reason being is the midfielders aren't good enough to set a trap to set the press. So you haven't got dominant midfielders. You can't press. So Arsenal have become one of the best pressing teams in the Premier League because of the acquisition of Declan Rice. Yeah. Because he gives them mobility in the middle of the park. Mm-hmm. And Arsenal now can fucking fully full court pressure. Yeah. Arsenal have had a good season this year because how good they are at pressing. The game against Villa the other day, Villa actually nullified the press, they played a little bit and then brought them up the pitch and caused them problems on the counter, hence Ollie Watkins' second goal, where he runs from inside his own half and obviously ends up in a 1v1 against Emile Smith-Rowe, which is a bad matchup for fucking Emile Smith-Rowe. Yeah. Because he's not a defender and he's he's a forward attacking thinking midfielder in a one-on-one situation with someone who's got blister and pace with 45 stroke 50 yards to run into. Did you see what Ollie Watkins put on his Instagram? They, he put the picture of his goal where he thinked it and he's put not bad for a winger trying to be a striker because when Troy Deeney said to him oh, he's, he's just a winger he's not a striker <laughs> a bar of yes yeah, so Wally Watkins put it on his there. not bad for a winger trying to be a striker <laughs> Troy I don't know why yeah. anyone's listening to Troy after his stint at Forest Green I think he should have, but he's, he's front and centre isn't he what did Martin O'Neill say though he said on TalkSport I think it was to, either today or yesterday he said that him Troy Deeney, he, he quoted Dan, he said that's why he lasted six games in fucking League 2. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what he said, isn't he? Yeah. He's sad, he, Martin O'Neill. He's very, to yeah, he speaks well, doesn't he, when you hear him talk, but again, you know, if he's going to pull that on, Troy, you don't have to look at his last few jobs, you Forrest and all that, he wasn't great, Martin. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Now, Troy had a, did it have a fucking absolute stinker, but then, you know, why would you not? He's gone in as a player. Manager's been sacked during the season and you step into the breach. Has he done as bad as Troy? Has he gone through? Has he done all that? I probably. Probably. But they'll, they'll only say that they never got, an opp- never got an opportunity, did he? He never got an opportunity, really. Six games is not... He must have been really, really bad to get potted after six games. And and the results... But I think he was... Forrest Green's been in a weird cycle since he got promoted out of league. Their owner's a fucking barn pot though, isn't he's he? He's a bit of a loon, yeah, but also, he, 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 they'd obviously broke up. It took them six years to get out of League Two into League One. Yeah. And then Rob Edwards went to Wofford, obviously now at Luton. Ebu Adams went to Cardiff. They sold uh, a lad to Barnsley, Stevens, who'd scored. The, like, the, 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 the nucleus of the team just broke up. Yeah. And then they put a lad in who was at Notts County, I think, Ian Barraclough or something. Was it not Ian Barraclough? That might be right. Someone who'd been at Notts County. And anyway, they just progressively, as that season unfolded, got worse. They start, they beat us Bristol over his first day of the season. Yeah. And then every performance from there, they just regressed and regressed to the point where they got relegated. Hired Big Dunk towards the end of the season, relegated. Yeah. Put a, a woman in for Big Dunk. And then new manager, and then went... Because he's just stopped oil, isn't he, Dale Vince? That's, he's, yeah. the, he's funding the Just Stop Oil people. Um, and then obviously they went for, um, Troy see, for a short period. Did you see that interview when Big Dunk got the job? And he had to eat that fucking yeah. vegan burger. Yeah. <laughs> he was all just right. like, oh, alright. <laughs> like that. That's awful. You can tell you're eating just off. He just didn't like you it. You've got to like Big Dunk. Right. Yeah. Like, he, he's, he's done a good job he's at always... Inverness, to be fair. He's gone he's up there fucking... against the fucking Ned and he's done all right. He's done there. a good job at Everton yeah. when he was standing. He was scared, well, obviously, if it weren't, it loads of people were putting the boot into him to, for him not to get the job because obviously they had... Did Lampard have Lampard. something to do with it? No, um, well, uh, Lampard was getting the job. <laughs> uh, it was almost a shoe in, wasn't it? But I think the, the, the thing with Big Dunk is he's got the respect, he had the respect of that group of lads. 
So Isn't when, caretaker manager and being a manager is like at the caretaker, yeah, you can yeah, get a short space of results. We'll never know because we never obviously got a stint, but as caretaker, I think his passion, players started to feel that. Yeah, and, and he got Stu uh, that, that gives that you the, the most boring ten ten ever seen. Months, the passion is now about what you know, it's not about the passion anymore. Yeah, and I, I know that because Stuart Pierce was our caretaker at Man City after the uh, Keegan resigned, he was caretaker and. He got a tune out of us towards the end of the season, gave him the job, and then he was fucking crap when he took the job permanently. He just completely changed. From yeah. being a caretaker and trying to get the lads on side, and being, he was a coach before, got the lads on side, and you played for him a little bit. And then he came back that summer and thought he was a manager and started being completely different to what he was as a coach or caretaker, and he just fucking lost the dressing room. Because everyone was like, this isn't you, because he'd been a player, player coach, yeah. and then coach. And then when, once he got the manager at the summer, came back and I think it coincided. I think he went on the ale in Germany for the 2006 World Cup and got blitzkrieged. And then his wife phoned his phone and a load of Russians answered it and he'd basically fucking been caught, got nicked by the busies, walking down the autobahn in the middle of the road at like four o'clock in the morning and something absolutely blottoed and left his phone in some bar that these Russians were answering it. So he gave up ale. He came back and went, right, that's me off the ale. So he'd completely changed his life and then... And that coincided with him becoming a manager, and all lads were like, "What's happened to this fella?" Yeah. And he just was, get, get was like two different end. people. Get and then, the then once you've known, and you go, "This is not genuineness," and and lads thought it was because he was manager. He should have said, "Listen, I fucked up in the summer. I've been on a bender. I've caused murder. I'm off the aisle." And if the lads would have understood it, it might have changed the dynamic. Yeah. But he actually didn't. Yeah. Um, and it was only after he got sacked that the lads found out and went, "Why didn't he fucking tell us? He'd, he'd obviously had a fucking near death experience." <laughs> <laughs> And decided to, to get walking off the end, the anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, something like that. He was caught. Yeah. Like, police picked him up, like walking in the middle of the fucking. But he'd gone to scout players. And obviously, just got on the on the slurp. Yeah, that's slurp in Germany. He's a different kind of slurp. What's Deli Ali added to this program, lads? Or Deli, as he's mm. now known? Uh, a bit of brightness with his hair. It's brightening the room a little bit. All they talk about, mate, he's got to play any for England. Everyone's on him. Everyone can see. He's, he's got 20 goals. Everyone can see how good night, he is. So. Uh, like, do you know what I mean? Joint top scoring in the Premier League. But do you know that. what? If you, want to put your, if you put your mortgage on it, Marcus Rashford or Cole Palmer, who's Southgate picking, you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't bet against, against well, Rashford, would you? Of course, because of the man you He's trying to get the man new job. I'm telling you, he's in the WhatsApp group, uh, by all accounts, with Ineos fella. Dave Brailsford, all this thing tank and all that. I'm telling you, he's fucking. They're angling him to get him a job. Now, bear in mind, his job before England was Middlesbrough. And he, he got relegated. Right? Yeah. Then he went into England under 21s and done, became done an done FA well. man. Which, which it's, unless you're actually a, a spastic, <laughs> you can't not win with England under 21s or France under 21s because you've just got that much superior yeah. talent. Um, you know, fucking. It's basically foolproof. The 21s. And no you know, one, uh, there's no real pressure. You no know one's what? really bothered. They're you all trying to get the could, full team. You could have said that about the England, the, the first team as well. No, there's a pressure with England because you end up getting painted as turnip head or fucking no, but you pay, like pizza nut advert with a fucking box over your head or something. But this, like, there's pressure with the England team. England the 21s. Who cares whether England and the 21s win or lose a tournament? No one gives a shit. But when was you the want to see them do well. No like, one cares. That last tournament, England went in as one of the favourites. When was the last time that happened? For what? The, for the first team? Yeah. For the 21s? Euros, first team? Well, again, that's because they've got to semi-finals and finals and we've got a really talented bunch. But so, I just think it's it's short of an elite-level manager. It's short of an elite-level goalkeeper. So I think Southgate's actually, I think it's actually short of done. An elite, I think it's short of an elite-level left-back and possibly a left-side centre-half. And unless you've got eight or nine of them positions like filled, I think you can get away with a few jobbers, a few journeymen. Like Every team has, I'll have a couple of jobbers. But you can't have it in nets. Think about any team that's won the World Cup. Don't have a job in goal. No, they don't. Yeah. Pickford's a fucking... He just conceded six. He just Oof. fucked up. He fucks up virtually every game. So yeah. what do you think's going to happen to him as he gets older and, and the pressure gets higher? He's going to fucking cost you because he's a fucking... Look, there's he's two kind of, options there. He can't catch the ball. He's gone for the hard one. He's, yeah. got, he's getting closed he's down. He's getting close to Tarkowski because Tarkowski's got all that space behind him. Yeah. Just why is, it, it, why are his him? pads and socks so low and why are his shorts <laughs> so tight? <laughs> and his top. Like this, like... No, that's a good goal. Posting in, you can't complain. 
Even still, I don't know. I, th- I think he could get an hand on it. Yes, he's got, he's got three people's so arms too small. He can get an hand on it, but he hasn't got the arms. Like he almost it. gets there, but misses it. Do you know what I mean? Like it goes underneath his arm. What Delhi said? No. <laughs> He as said nothing. Has he had a text? He can't say anything. What can he say? He had a text off Dice and keep your mouth shut. He, he goes to blow the whistle there, look. He does. He's, he can't see it on that picture. He can't, he can't watch give him. that. Yeah. He can't have give that. Watch watch he has, he's given advantage, look, watch. He he's, get, he's, looking, he he's looking, he's looking. Don't that. give advantage at the penalty, give it for the tackle. Yeah, you can. As you think you can? Yeah, he's given the other one. If you're about he's to give the goal score one. By the way, I, I thought there's no way he could have given the Tarkowski one. You can't give a... I, he thinks it's not the right decision there. You can't give a pen there while you're about to shoot on goal. You've got to let, you've got to let the shot get off. Look. So why doesn't he give it there? This is madness, you know. Oh, my God. What would you do, Joe, if someone said second half? I'm on a penalty. Like when you were playing. Mad at UK and Jackson kicking off, look at them. The fact that they're arguing over it and neither of them say He it. wants to score, though, so he just wants to score, don't he? Palmer's already yeah, got answer. Didn't he miss one the other week with UK? Or did he, what did he do in this? He's he done this. He's done it again. Palmer's, look, Palmer's not even trying to get the ball off them. This is mad, this is Give wild. What's Jackson doing? Look at his fucking Is Jackson head. trying to get it? Jackson's trying to get a bat to Madukey there. Good from Conor Gallagher, apart yeah, from the socks. Yeah, yeah, proper captain. Apart from the socks. I think Delhi's wing-backs are pushing on either side there, aren't they? Yeah, they are, look. Hiding it with them curls. Yeah, he's pushing it forward. Doesn't yeah? He's got no enthusiasm about him whatsoever. Oh, he, he? Put, he, he could knock you the kip, couldn't he? Imagine just doing a podcast when you go to bed, you'd be asleep like that. He can't say anything though, the kid. So even no. no matter what he's thinking, he can't out. Why is he there? What a bad guest. Yeah, yeah. Can't, on yeah, the yeah, Everton game. Everton is shite. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. he, you know, he's fucking. Bad guest. Just he's had a bit of mental health. Let's, mental health. Get him, let's get him on there. Yeah, mental health. Oh God. Why <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the kid off Batman, the Riddler? What is he called? The Joker, is it? Oh, the, Rid- the, Riddler. the Riddler with the green thing, with the green outfits on, with the white thing. The thing is, he's like half laughing, and Evan was just being beat 6 0, we paying his wages. But what's he's on telly though, so you, you must he's think like. fucking season. Well, surely if you're him and you're going, we're at the bottom, we could get relegated, I haven't fucking p- paid a minute or earned me fucking wages. Why am I going on Monday Night Footy? Because Everton could get a spanking here and I'm not going to be able to say anything. Like, it's just a fucking ill-conceived manoeuvre from all round. I agree. He shouldn't be on it. Everton shouldn't have given him fucking permission to go on it because he can't get on the park at the minute. And what's he, what's he contributed here? Fucking zero. He, has, he, he's, he was one of the best at invading the space behind you. He's not, spo- he's not speaking about Cole Palmer doing it. Mm. Yeah. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. I'm like social at the telly. I'm so bad. I'm gonna have to check out of this because um, <laughs> he's me up. No, I feel sorry. I feel sorry for him because he shouldn't have been put in that position right, by yeah, Sky. Yeah. Again, ridiculous. If it's not fucking women on there, it's men. But no, on there, it's not just Sky. It's Everton have agreed it as well. Everton would have had to agree that. No way he's turned up tonight without asking Everton. Ah, oh, he's done his army, Patterson. Doesn't play anyway. Colburn off at half time, Patterson off. When's the derby? Does his army falling <laughs> over? Gives us a chance. No, <laughs> gives us a chance, yeah. But yeah, no. Ah, that's I, nice I, to the kid, though. I mean, it goes to the games Everton, but look at him, that's proper passion there. Yeah, he's a priceless proper... star. Ah, and the young yeah. kid with him, the other one, probably academy mates. And him, whoever he is, David or David. And Come on then, Delhi. Let's just see if Delhi gives, if Delhi gives Delhi. us something. Must give us something. Oh. 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 Oh.
Like you're never a fan there and you're watching that and he hasn't oh, played the game and he's like he's, he's like sni- he's like sniggling. 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 He just can't win. He just can't he win. Can't, they should can't. never have put him in there. He just, he just can't win. Like unless Everton win that game, which very unlikely they were gonna do, why why take the chance? At least for stinking. The... Yeah, you've won one in fucking thirteen. At least when you know you used to watch Carrot or Neville and United get beat or Liverpool get beat, they're human and they haven't played for you. So you can tell Deli Ali's just what like can he say? He couldn't give a fuck. He, can't he, tell he the should truth. be human. He should be saying it. He can't tell the truth. We, we still shouldn't be sniggering. He just doesn't want to be there. So you should look, look at him now. He's like, mm. how quick can I get the fuck off this yeah, program? Is, yeah. He's the one that they got to take. Chelsea in ninth? No, England got to take Gallagher. For his legs. Yeah. But then, then he's where's been, Mason Mount going to play? He's not. He won't get him Ma- He's not Gallagher. the coach in that team. Who's in the squad? You, Mason Mount gets in the England squad. Who's better this, this season, Mount I'm or Gallagher? I'm telling you, Mason Mount is a Steve Holland, Gareth Southgate favourite. Mason Mount will get in the fucking team. And who does he play for? Manchester United. Mason Mount will be in the England squad unless he's injured. They've already... Ten days ago, <coughs> took pictures of him in the kit. He's nah. going to Euros. I'm telling you, he leave Conor Gallagher out or Cole Palmer or someone mad. Watch because he's he's not past. They're not past that England group. <laughs> Buzzing. Look at he's on the chat. Where the state, Tony? <laughs> From uh, what's it called? Tony, biggest council Chelsea. state in, in is he, Europe. Yeah? With ensure, yeah. With ensure, is he? Yeah. You don't play Sunday, I don't think. Oh, yeah, FA Cup, oh no. Who did they play Sunday, Chelsea? Jeff yeah. United 2 2, weren't they? Oh, on Sunday, gone. 2 2. Fair play to the kid. Boss, isn't it? That, that, yeah. That's what I love about it, seeing young ones. He's going to do some damage tonight, isn't he? <laughs> uh, Monday, not Natman on a Monday. Like, then again, in London? Yeah. Yeah. Now, these don't drink anymore, these. These aren't drinkers, these. Doesn't have to drink. It's just just, just, just suck on balloons instead. Then. These aren't drinkers, these. They, they're not... They're not uh, you just go out and get the orange juices in for all the birds, aren't you, love? Did you see my goal tonight, Gil? Yeah. Fuck, we'll be all Do you want a double orange juice today. with a lemon? That the birds have these wrapped up from being 16 now, they store them double early. Because they know how much readies are available. Uh, th- th- to, to be honest though, I'm made up for him because it takes some bollocks to leave Man City. Where you're a bit par player and you think, do you know what? And he's gone, no, nah, nah, I'm better than a bit par player. I'll go to a struggling Chelsea side and I'll fucking show you what I'm about. Well, you can see the way he's played all season. He's beli- he's, that's his main, his main attribute yeah. is belief himself. But That's again, his main like, you're thinking for about it for City, it's a shit story because you've ended up losing an homegrown kid who's come right through your academy and he looks now, you know, he looks now like he, he's as good as any that the they've academy's got, produced. He's as good as Doku, for me. Different who, who type, did, totally different different type of player. But he replaced Doku there. with him. Right, did he replace I'm, I'm looking at it going, there was rumours of Bernardo Silva going to Barcelona. Like He looked like the air in waiting. Yeah. You know, Phil Foden's kicked on to another gear yeah. this, this year. He has, yeah. But also, you know, Kevin De Bruyne has been out for a large part. Would he like he, he couldn't Don't guarantee him the minutes? But I'm like, surely if you're Guardiola, you work with him every day, you've got to be able to appraise his level because he's clearly a lot better than what City for because they sold him for 40 million. Like a, a shit player gets a shit English player at the right age million, is now yeah. fucking 40 million. Yeah, he's far from that. He's, yeah. he's, he hasn't he's top scored in the Premier with Ireland in his first full season mm. of being a starting player, yeah, and he's moved from north. To south, south, which, which is, is a strange massive. move. Yeah. You know, you go from Manchester, which is a big city, but to the big city of London. Chelsea have been struggling. You've obviously got a load of mad egos in the dressing room. Poch was on the fucking ropes for a bit, and that kid's still been the star performer. Mm. Has he been called up for England yet? Has he had an England cap? Yeah, 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 yeah. Has he got a cap but yet? But the, the, last, the last friendly, him and Bra- Braithwaite didn't get a sniff, didn't get a minute between them. I like his demeanour as well. He's quite fucking laid back, the kid. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He just like he doesn't give Takes a fuck. In his stride, he yeah. doesn't give a fuck. He's like you think well, you. He's he, he might be like that with Pep and gone. Hang on a minute. We might get a fucking sentence out of Delhi that we can we can say it was worthwhile as visit to the Monday night studios. Yeah. 
Well, yeah. fucking give us some it, Delhi, because you give us absolutely zero so far. See, this why I'm wasted on this know. podcast. I can easy fix loads of these problems for these. Just <laughs> dead easy fix. PCV into they, the they blues. They won't, they won't appoint me because ba- they'll have a female. If Karen Lyon Baxendale's a female fucking CEO, and obviously I am the Antichrist when it comes <laughs> to women in football, aren't I, at this moment in time? Um, right, I think we should wrap that up from here. We're not going to get anything out of Delhi, I don't think, because no. he's given us nothing over the last fucking three hours. Um, I think I think we have to put a line through that because that was a bad night's work for Everton. Set up the wrong way. Sad to say we were right in terms of who's going to pick Cole Palmer up and the space in behind. I still didn't think it would be as bad as what it was because that is a level of naivety that is not befitting of the major league in, in this country. It, and, and Everton need to arrest that really quickly because I think we're on a fucking slippery slope and momentum at this stage in the season is absolutely everything and we've got very little of it. And we need to get it really quick. The only way it comes for Everton, because we have an, a, a lack of goal-scoring opportunities in the team, is via fucking being defensively solid, hard to beat, and stinking the yard out. We're not good enough to go and press teams. On the flip side of that, I thought Chelsea were good. You know, for, for what it was worth, Palmer was exceptional. If he'd gone the game tonight, he was probably worth the admission fee on his own. Um, scored a perfect hat-trick. And then, really, Chelsea, I, I felt, just went into cruise control and... We're thinking about the next game and Everton were obviously just happy to keep the score down. Pickford, I thought, was terrible. Steve Hollands had the game there. Will that make any burden on his on his England thing? I don't think no. it will because he fucked up a couple of times for England. Um, I don't believe we can win a major tournament with Southgate as the manager and Pickford as the goalie. I think they're two enormous uh, spots for improvement if England want to further the chances. Um, and I think Chelsea have won tonight and I would have Chelsea on current form Favourites for six spot. I'm yeah. saying Chelsea are going to finish six. They're coming with a late bit of momentum. All right, they, they, they dropped points against Sheffield United at the weekend, but you know they've just absolutely snotted Everton there. And I think Man United are all over the gaff. It looks like he's a dead man walking. Ten Hag. Yeah. Uh, they're conceding twenty plus shots a game, which yeah. is no 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 good it's measurement. I think Newcastle are still in and out, albeit had a good result. I think Tottenham of I think the myth of Pentecostalu. The load of fucking nonsense that was going on around that team is finally starting to uh, bear <sighs> dividends. Like he's another naive. I moment, think City yeah. are going to win the league. Um, I think Arsenal and Liverpool have just um, proverbially shit the bed at a key time. Um, Liverpool more so than than Arsenal because Villa are a good side and dangerous on the counter. But also, you know, Glatzi will, will, will know Klopp well from the time in Germany and set up with the perfect structure. Obviously got the Ezra goal quite early and that played into Palace's hands. Rode the luck a little bit from time to time. But I think Liverpool have had the week from hell in terms of second half at Man United. Wasteful in the first half. Second half, lucky to get what was probably a dive as a pen. Bit of a dive. Nah, not even close to being a dive. He never... never He's, 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 he's exacerbated the contact. He's, he's accepted the contact. No, he's gone in there and left his foot in there to exacerbate. No, the foot, well, not the foot. It's his, it's it's the, the knee. What's, it's the clip them. Well, right. but it, I, he shouldn't have gone off his feet. And if he goes off his feet, doesn't get the ball. Wamba Zaha then. Wamba Zaha slides in and doesn't get the ball. I think you can't I, I could do easier that. seen that not given as well. It's the same with City's Doku when we slid in and it's the exact same name. No one's mentioned that one. Yeah. Exactly the same. Doku's accepted accepted the challenge and gone down, got the pen. So. So I could have jumped so over him. So you're saying you're accepting the title challenge is over for Liverpool? I, I never. I, I was always. I was always skeptical we were ever going to win the league. It wasn't because I think Guy Neville said something today or yesterday, and I think I don't really I agree with him a lot. But he was spot on. He was saying a lot of times Liverpool have looked like they've been hanging on. I mean, we've gone behind 21 times or so in this season. Like 27 points from losing positions it's, and 11 percent conversion rate. On that's the, on the that, that's not sustainable. It's not. No. So but then you're thinking Jota <coughs> comes back, Trent comes back, Allison comes back. All right, we're only, a only few this weekend now. I know, but you're saying they're, 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 they're better reinforcements than what you've had recently. Yeah, they are. 100%. And yet the performances have dipped, not got better. No, the, the, the performances have dipped. They haven't been back. Allison's first game back was the weekend. Well, that's what I'm saying. It, like, they, they had, Jota didn't start. Trent didn't game, start. But, but I'm saying the back. Yeah, but they didn't play. They didn't no, start. No, the back, yeah, the they? back. Yeah, so the back. Are, they, they need probably two or three games to get up to speed. Uh, they can't just come on in, in the second half and think, oh, yeah, they're back. They need two or three games to go to speed to then to say, okay, they're back, I think. See what Tahi says here. 
captain's been sent out to front. Send up, Josh. I'm going to ban us in the Amazon documentary. This <laughs> <laughs> bed, filth. <laughs> Mate, it's a boss. <laughs> she grabs on his ears, don't they? <laughs> Set up was wrong, though. Captain front up, which is good to see. Tark is a proper kid, but I just think if they set up like that towards the end of the season, they're getting fucked because they're too open. There's not a defensive bone in any of the midfielders. You need to go and play five at the back again. Just, just five play three. Back. Three and five off the ball. Yeah, yeah. Five at the back with pace to counter, or it's four at the back and loads of legs in midfield. The midfield three, five, three, two, Calvert Lewin and better up front. Yeah, but, and that would depend on what you're trying to do. Why we're trying to press, I'll never know. Where particularly do you feel you all over the park. Yeah, he knows. It's it, He's got settled by things here, to be honest. Yeah, midfielders all ran off. It's hard to summarise it in a short debrief. But I've had bad times here a few times. Where's the game? Is that Forest? Goodison? Ah, Goodison, yeah. Where away am I? There's got to be a reaction, hasn't there? Oh, no, there's got to, it's, and it's got to be a win. It's got to be a reaction. So Delhi's going to be dead sound with his former manager here and just piss off Evertonians further, didn't he? Was he close with him or not? That is Cole Palmer, who is now level on 20 goals with Erling Haaland. And this is for his first full Premier League season. Did you see this coming from this player, Mauricio, the first time you saw him on the training ground? Yeah, 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 of course I did. Uh, and to be honest, uh, we, we signed him, we were talking that he's a great talent, he was a great talent. But of course, and now he's, he's doing fantastic. He's, I think he's... Uh, it, it shows you, though, really, really is... Well. Is standing with the media got him an extension of time because they were really struggling Chelsea and it allowed them to turn the corner as a team because he, he was seen as a good manager and he was seen think, as yeah the, the, like the pressure valve never built on him even when the results were poor because they, they had a lot of injuries and as well. I remember Wolves beating them at home. Yeah, but they had a lot of injuries. Don't forget, and, and that's what like, that's what bought him time. Built on him because people seen him as a good manager. He wasn't a shit manager. He was like. Because the perception of him was a good manager, yeah. it was like he's going to turn it around because he's a good manager. So he got a bit of an extension in time, and I think that's because he was quite well thought of with the media as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's time at Tottenham. The injuries that. But they've still fin they still finished ninth. As it's you're right. I think they'll finish sixth. If he if he wasn't if he was a brand new Premier League day one manager this season, he'd have been gone. It's like the lad at Bournemouth, he didn't win in the opening nine, and what a fucking job he's done. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because they, they've, they, they've turned the corner. He's a good manager, didn't he, know? Done well. He's but again, manager. after nine, he hadn't won a fucking game. Yeah. And to be fair to Gary O'Neill, he left Bournemouth, I felt it harshly. He's done a great job at Wolves. Gary O'Neill. Uh, done a great job. He could be one for Newcastle, maybe, or something. Gary O'Neill. Yeah. They're going Mourinho, they're going to go tie and test and win it. Yeah. 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 Saudis. Yeah, There's two exactly swords yeah. on the flag. They, 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 they live by the sword. They chop people's heads off. Mate. That's what happens. Allegedly. No, no, that's what happens. They, that, that's their <laughs> culture. They're a hundred years after chopping each other's heads off as Bedouins fucking marching around the desert. They just want winners. Mourinho, I think, is an absolute shoe in if they don't get a trophy in the next few years. No, I think Southgate's last. Southgate, Where Southgate go? Southgate to United. Eddie Howe goes to... If Southgate goes to Man United, he's going to be crucified. If Southgate goes to Man United... He's going to be Eddie yeah. sacrificial. Eddie Howe yeah. goes to England. Eddie Howe goes to England. Right? Mourinho goes to Newcastle. Mourinho's, Mourinho's on the table now, isn't he? Yeah, well, yes, he wants to go back Premier League, he said. So, and I think he's an underdog. Newcastle is in that underdog spot. Do you have, you have him in heaven? He needs money, doesn't he? Yeah. With the team we've got now, no fucking hell. Right, let's wrap it up. Same Man United players, we're shining all that. Yeah, let's wrap it up, Joe. He's going to have to nail the other players. See you all on Wednesday. Listen, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back Wednesday for the City Madrid second leg of the Champions League there. So try and get some City based questions in. As I say, not a great night for Everton tonight. Really good night for Cole Palmer and Chelsea. And Everton, as I say, we. We're in desperate trouble. We need a response at the weekend because 
Notts Forest come to Goodison Sunday. And if they play like they did tonight, I think Goodison could turn on them and that makes that running even more and more difficult. Especially um, Forrest have got a bit of pace. Nuno Espirito Santo has gone in there. They're not on as bad a run as Everton. And, and I just think it's a really tricky game. You know, Goodison's going to have to be loud and getting after it for Everton to have a chance. But if they play like they did against Burnley, Forrest will beat them because they carry more quality. And after. if they play like they did to fucking night, a, t- a fucking team of absolute fucking... Championship, t- a championship team will beat them. So thanks for tuning in. As I say, see you Wednesday. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers to Cambo and Josh for filling in. That's been Common Sense Watch Along with me, Joey Barton. Good night. <laughs>